Get it! Uh, welcome, everyone. I'm here with the wonderful Blue Boy. Hello, everyone. Uh, Blue Boy. You have to let me know if I'm being too loud. I heard I was loud I think you're time, quieter, so. but you might be too quiet now. Uh, the crowd Oh, like shit. Now. But, um, okay. what did we hear there, Blue Boy? That, you, you, that was your song selection for the day. Oh, that was Nancy Boy by Placebo. Hell yeah. So... Um, let me switch. It was stuck here. in my head earlier today. Let's see that. Um, <clears throat> alright, so as far as this call goes, it's. If you guys remember from Sunday, if you were here, Lorne was like, fine, I will call you at 7 30. Okay, so that's, that's all the backstory you're getting for this one. Um,. But as you can tell, things don't go the way that Lauren wanted. Hello. Are you gonna answer the phone this time? Eight o'clock. Again, becoming kind of a habit, isn't it, Jamie? Oh, but it's all me. I'm already annoyed. <laughs> it's becoming kind of a habit, isn't it? But it's all me. Well, I mean, Blue Boy, it's been 30 minutes. 30 30, minutes two days in a row. Time. It's becoming a habit, Jamie. It's been two days. I don't think he knows what a habit is, because two days is... Uh, uh, sloppy one. He, does, he doesn't yell at Casey like Jamie. I think Jamie got... You know, Jamie he, took a lot out of him. Yeah, I think he was deeply in love with the robot. Casey just had mop-up duty. He was just like... Mop. Jamie... She's the Jamie same. just... Did it in case he finished him off. She's the like, he was CSI, defeated at that point. CSI cleanup crew or whatever. Yeah. Um, baby mode, baby boy mode is activated right off the bat. Yeah, I mean, you d Casey tried a lot, you know. I'm just not good at. I just couldn't do it. And you were better at it than me. That's understandable. Yeah. Um, but you know, I don't. I got the, the DD-87, and after that, like I've said before, I just kind of gave up. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, like, he, he would get mad about Sex Boy and Alex, but it just, it would never hit that, you know? No, because it was like, yeah, it was the same cycle. He can, he knows, it's like the same exact pattern yeah. that he's gone through with every other catfish. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe if you had, like changed up just a little bit like waited before a threat because i think with jamie will was always there but will always said he wasn't a threat but he was bothered by it and then <laughs> like as they time went on obviously he didn't really have that but yeah once once he was invested all of a sudden there's like james rod todd car yeah i i think the problem was yeah i introduced people like way too early because I, I didn't really give him any time to really become that invested yeah Casey, maybe you were lucky though because you had wine lover be a good girlfriend for two months. Well, <laughs> I mean, I guess I, I want to say this as far as that goes, there was there wasn't a lot of talking, there was no. a handful <clears throat> of calls in, the, in that span of time, and there was maybe texting every other day or something. Um, oh, okay, there was a lot of like, why isn't Lauren being called? <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. Why? Like, what's happening? What is the plan? Uh, thank you, Pee Wee. Happy Fourth to our General Lord Lynn Armstrong. Oh my! <laughs> oh, whoops. Sorry. Let me get the pay per view going for you guys. Mute that. But yeah, all right. Let's. We're we're twenty seconds in. Baby boys started. Yeah. So who was the distraction, Jamie? Oh no! Who's the distraction? Sloppy one. I agree. I think that Casey really did. <laughs> give no fucks and and Sorry, after I him. Have coughed. No, you're fine. Um I I do like that she kind of was able to edu a quote educate herself throughout it and just hammer him with like, "Well, why did you say this? Why did you do this? I read this." And then he's like, "Oh." Well, uh, uh. <laughs> so you had that going for you, dude. I mean, I'm fine with it. <laughs> I'll allow it. Excuse you. Not excuse me. No, we are not. I called you twice. You could have called me back. Oh. You no. didn't do that. Sent you messages. 
I was gonna say goodnight, we're gonna bother you calling you again because I know what you're getting distracted by and who. Is it Rob? But it's all me. Whoa. Um, Maria has become. You know what? You just don't want to. You don't want to say it because you don't want to say that you're that you're doing something wrong, and not just me. Maria's become like Roscoe, sort of like a fan favorite. I don't know if you noticed. There's a lot of Maria fans. I'm not. Really? Okay, so you were so anxious to spend time with me that you wasn't there at, at 7.30 to, to answer the phone call twice. Or to even text me back. Or maybe you were there, but on the phone with someone else. Oh, baby boy. Like Rod. Maybe. Was yeah, maybe. Like, <laughs> like Rod or Rod? Yeah, well, I he paid means attention. Rod. Oh. Yesterday I thought that, you know, you would have called me, but you didn't. Oh. So again, at 8 o'clock. Dan Jones, this is the same day I, I as, as the call we played night. Sunday. Yeah, this is literally when, when the last call ended, he said, I'm calling you at 7.30 tonight. This is 8 o'clock that night, and he's complaining that she didn't answer at 7.30 that night. Yeah, he said earlier, if you weren't here, that it's, it's becoming a pattern now, isn't it, Jamie? Oh, yeah, and I know who you're distracted by in two days i know we don't really we don't really talk about the wrestling much anymore but i do think this is pay-per-view quality that aunt sharon is going after maria for lying nine times on the stand. <laughs> I, I was paying attention night and i called you 729 to give you a warning call 730 because then you couldn't a tell warning me that I didn't call. call at 730 <laughs> what the fuck's a warning call he's like can you repeat that again He's like, it's 15 minutes before I'm calling you. I'm calling you just so you can know that I'm calling you in 15 minutes. Okay? What the hell? <laughs> that is crazy. A warning call. Is that like a, uh, uh, like a flag on the field or something? What is that? Yeah. I guess. Yeah, like a penalty? Yeah. Or is it like a tornado siren? <laughs> I think it's more like a tornado siren. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Connor. Wonder if Gorilla, if the Gorilla made what him his goopy Ford pie for this blessed day. Lawn's chicken pie. That shit's nasty. All right, let's see about the warning call. I called at seven thirty. You obviously weren't anxious to talk to me, but you were anxious to talk to someone else. I really wish that he knew what anxious meant. But it's all me, right? Re Correct dragon words. What are you ever talking about? You gonna tell me what's going on? Nothing. Something to do. Something's going on because oh. I told you today I was gonna call you at seven thirty. Uh huh. Do Something's you know going what on, anxious James. Means? <laughs> oh yeah, I know what anxious means. What's it mean? What does it mean? Yeah. You're anxious to talk to somebody else, but you're not anxious to talk to me. Holy otherwise, you would have called me mean? back. Or otherwise, you would have been right there to answer my phone, but instead, you're anxious to talk to somebody else. Because you ignored my call, and you never called me back. Um, Saying the word isn't a definition. I, I was literally about to pause and say that exact same thing. <laughs> saying, saying anxious is the definition of anxious is, is just stupid. Uh, farmer donated and said, uh, warning donation. I appreciate you warning us that you're going to be donating for thank you. <laughs> In 15 minutes. Yeah. Anxious means really wanting. Yeah, I think there is a Casey call where she talks about anxious, right? Where you, where you like, that's not I, I honestly don't remember. I know. It's any hard, Casey right? calls that much. Yeah. It starts, you start not thinking about it because, you know, he's not around. And then it's like, well, when, what the fuck did happen? Yeah. Well, and I'm not re-listening to those. You know what I mean? True, yeah. I mean, So I don't... I can't remember. But probably, it sounds like something. Back when Robot was full swing, the Robot remembered damn near any slight that he made. <laughs> or any <laughs> lie. I don't know. Now it's whatever. But yeah, like, I forget some of this shit even happened at this point. Yeah, I... I it's kind of fun, though. Surprised we didn't remember Warning Call. Yeah, right, yeah. It's fun though, like it's it's new again. It's new to me too. Yeah. So. Are you sure? So apparently, 
Thank you, Father. So apparently you weren't really wanting to talk to me. You were really wanting to talk to someone else. I feel that's incorrect. Anxious is well, excited to I don't talk feel to it is. Sorry, Lauren. Didn't mean to plow over your definition. This is what he said about his own definition real quick. So. Well, I don't feel it is. Oh, sloppy one. Yeah, that's a good, okay. Good thruple call where they just ganged up on him over his stupid English. <laughs> So you gonna be honest with me and tell me what happened, who you were talking to? So I can, I, I probably guess it, and I'm probably gonna be right. Mm. Never change, Lauren. Matter of fact, I can probably guess who you spent most of the day with. This is just like a Ramona call. Yeah, yeah. And I'd probably be right, but would you tell me the truth? I don't know. Here's the thing that I think Ramona did well. Sorry, guys, I know we're interrupting a fair amount at the start here, but trust me, you're going to get sick of this call. I, I almost can guarantee it. Um, with Ramona, she always had, like, the, the great thing she did was never answer questions, which got yeah. him to just answer it for her, which was always good. Carl, that is Aunt Sharon fighting uh, Maria. Lauren's old P.O. So how much time did you spend with Rod today? Oh, no, it's all day. How? How do I know? You had things More to do. No, not assumptions. No, no assumptions. I, it just that is the definition of an assumption. Quite possibly, yes. <laughs> Quite possibly, yes. How much, time did you, how, much, how much time did you spend with Rod today? Go ahead and guess, big man. I'm guessing it was Rod. How much time did you spend with Rod today? Go ahead and guess, big man. Uh, Danny, I never thought of doing Jamie, that. Jamie, I just guessed. I didn't hide it. So are you gonna man. hide it and not... Are you gonna hide it and not tell me? Oh my god. Go ahead and guess, old man. <laughs> are, you, are you gonna hide it and not tell me how much time you've spent with Rod today? Holy mother of god. She hasn't even said she's hung out with Rod today. Uh, the, the only reason I'd say I, I wouldn't put sound effects or anything in the calls is just because... I try and keep them clear, at least audio-wise, so other people can stream them. And by that, I mean Heelborn. I mean, this should the gimmick just be dropped at this point? <laughs> no, keep it going. So how much time have you spent with Rod today? Me not telling you stuff you're demanding to know is not hiding. No, it's hiding it. It's hiding it. No, it isn't. It's hiding it. It, it's hiding it because it, it just it just tells me that you don't want me to know that you, that you spent some more a lot of time with Rod today. He's not going to believe whatever answer she gives him. Right. Sounds like controlling behavior to me. Oh, controlling mm -hmm. behavior. Uh, it also it also tells me that Rod's the reason you didn't answer the phone at seven thirty. Because could be because you were on the All phone right, with him like or that. on the computer with him. Uh, how the hell should I know, I Jamie? Like that. There's no deflecting. It's a, I'm on the same Sounds subject like that I've been on. Behavior to me. How is it controlling? Me telling you that you're you're ignoring and avoiding me to talk to Rod. Uh. <laughs> that you're that something seems a little odd to me because you're spending so much Tell time me with Rod. You make all you are hiding things. Me telling you that you're ignoring me and avoiding Tell me. Tell me every move you, you make or you are hiding things. See? There, there you go. Just See? trying to fucking interrupt me again because you don't want to hear anything I'm saying. So why don't you want to tell me how much time you spent with Rod today, Jamie? Why are you hiding it? You haven't addressed a thing I've said. You haven't said anything. You haven't addressed anything I said. Okay, bye then. See? And that's it, and they never spoke again. <laughs> um, I think I remembered a, a line from these this series of calls, Blue Boy, and it's probably one of my new favorites. Do you remember it? It has to do with calls um, being thin. Say, what is it? He goes, Jamie starts calling for Will, and she, he goes, Remember paper thin walls? Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> How much time did you two take looking for jobs today? That's a good question. Things would be a lot better now that I quit my job. What? 
I said you weren't saying anything about what I was talking to you about. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did, Jamie. When did you Don't answer? Don't play stupid with it. You know exactly what I was saying. You said you weren't saying anything. I said you weren't saying anything about what I was talking about. Holy mercy. I was. He lost me on that. I'm telling yeah, you right now, works, I'm though. not playing a fucking game with this rod bullshit. He just like he just like moves the goalposts and changes subjects until you forget what you're talking about, and then it's like, see, you didn't do what I did. Bip. I was. I'm not playing a game with you with this rod bullshit. Oh my god. If and you, if you like rod yeah. that much that you can ignore me and avoid me <laughs> every night when I call, so that avoid you can him every rod, night. Have at it. I just won't been call. A half two. An hour. Days and it's been a half an hour. I'm not fucking dicking around. I told him, I told you why I didn't want you on the internet, going on the internet talking to a bunch of fucking guys. You didn't listen. Okay, but he's not controlling. No, 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 no. He's not controlling or manipulative. I want to, I want to just explain this. I know I've talked about it before, but I just, it, it's so baffling to me. So, Blue Boy, you know, just say you had someone and they're complaining to you. You never give me time. You're so wrapped up in this other guy, and then when he, and then when they get time, all they do is spend it complaining that you're spending time with other guys. <laughs> like yeah, it's so weird. And you, it's, he wonders why she doesn't want to spend time on the phone with him. Right. It's insane. Just and what answer can she give that is gonna like satisfy him? Nothing. If she says if she says thirty minutes or she didn't spend any time with him. He's not going to believe it, and he's going to keep complaining. Or she can say, you know, I spent all day with Rod, and he's going to keep complaining. There's no scenario that mm -hmm. he ends up as a as a happy boy. Well, I, I think that the only solution would be saying, I, I didn't talk to Rod today. And then he'll ask, how long did you talk to him yesterday? Did you text him? And then if you answer all of those really paranoid, controlling questions, and it's what he wants to hear, then he'll be fine. Until the next half Even an hour, that no. we miss, you know. <laughs> but then he would add, he would keep complaining. Why? Then why were you late thirty minutes today? That's true. Well, what got you attention? You know, it would just minutes? keep going. Yeah. No, you're good. You're right. You're right. It's a no-win game. Um, what's the most horrific thing Lauren admitted to you during your calls with him? Um, probably when he said, "You wouldn't have sex with a seventeen-year-old kid if it was legal." Yeah, that. I think can't be topped. Because that is... gross. Another gross thing he does is coming up in this span of days, guys. Um, it's not that kind of gross. It's a, just a different kind of like... How would you how would you explain those texts he sent about, like, Winnie? That come up um, in the days. I'm, it's not... They... <sighs> It's like I don't I don't even know. I I can't wait for you to it, read those. It, God, what's the word? I'm trying to think of the word. I uh, wish a smarter guy. Uh, it's just it's mean for no reason. He, like he's hurt and just wants to make someone else be hurt. So he's just saying the most disgusting shit he can think of. Yeah, it's stuff that you would say to someone if you like had no plans to talk to them ever again, and you really wanted to like burn that bridge. Yeah. Because it was horrible. Yeah, it's really gross. We'll hear him. The robot will read them, but um, I, we might read a couple of them, too. Uh, I saw a question. In your opinion, have we heard any of the top five calls you have? Uh, yeah, John. I always say that the, I've already played them, and then something else comes out that people say are the best. So I, I don't really know. Sheffrey and Rod are top two. Like, they're, you're not beating them, and I've said that since they came out. Would you, I, would you agree, Blue Boy? I mean, I don't... Yeah. I don't remember yeah. half this shit anymore. <laughs> so. uh, Blue Boy, what are the chances uh, for you to complete the playlist on your channel for the order of Casey Calls are in? Oh, I read that comment and I wasn't going to address oh, I'm sorry. it because I have Just no idea. Plants over that one. <laughs> Should get someone to do it for um, you. Yeah. I'll, see, I'll do it. See, Jennifer, I yeah, keep don't... saying I'll do it. Yeah. And then I don't do it. You'll get, he'll get to it. He'll get to it. <laughs> um, the Donkey Kong call I knew was good, but I didn't think it would be top five. But then after hearing it again, it's like, oh, yeah, this is top five. <laughs> you know, like, 
Yancey's yeah. good. James is good. You know, it's it's hard to it's hard to say like, oh, I've been sitting on this top five call forever. Like I remember when pre Yancey came out, they were some there was a few people saying like, well, why did he sit on this one for so long? I just forgot it existed. I forgot that that yeah. happened. So. Yeah, Omega, it's good. How cunning. Alright, let's get back to this call. Lauren. Me saying you are controlling because you demand every move I make. Apparently that doesn't have to do with what you were saying. Uh, Kobe won. Probably... I don't know when that happened, that's the thing. So I can't tell you when we'll, we'll hear it. What? I mean, Every it's going to come out. I don't know when. Yeah. They're all going to come out eventually. Eventually. Unless it's, like, really, really, really fucking boring. And then, yeah. Oh. Those calls will be lost to the internet. I think we stumbled upon Brussy Juice recently, and it was disgusting. Yeah, I was, like, I got, like, a lump in my throat. Like, that my, I was going to gag. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Hearing him, like, gargling it. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's get that. Every move you make, Jamie, look at the moves you're making. Yeah. Look at the moves you're making. I try to keep you as safe as I can possibly keep you from a, the distance that I'm at. Hey, I say this didn't stuff. you say it was okay to go online and See, I, Yes, he gargles it on call. I said that the first night. Yeah. The next night, I had told you this a second time before. The next night... I told oh. you, I thought about it more, and it's not a Hold on, I'll go back to Lauren's timeline. I'm going to back up. Don't worry, guys, I'm backing up. But uh, Medium Syllables donated and said, I hope everyone here remembers to not season their burgers today so that they're extra juicy. <laughs> and that's a good tip. Yeah. Thank you, Medium Syllables. Unless it's cinnamon, then you can. Cinnamon sugar. Cinnamon sugar, sorry. <laughs> the next night, I had told you this a second time before. The next night... I told you I thought about it more, and it's not okay. The story changes. So again, Th this is time number two that the story changes. You're I actually, this makes time number three that the story changes. Come on, Jamie. You're not deaf. I know you can hear. So your boy. Yeah, I know what. Lauren, you're it's changing the story. The third time I've said it. So you tell me you've been you've been flirting with Rod. Oh my God. I don't you've even know how he got Rod, to that. So, so I get the shit. I'm going to back up. Uh, so basically, this is what he's talking about. Jamie starts going online, which we'll hit at some point as well. It, James, I think, is the, is the first person she talks to. But Lauren wants to know immediately what she's doing online. And she goes, chat rooms. And, like, of course, Lauren's mind just goes to... She's talking to guys to fuck around. and uh, There's a, a point in it where he says, I know you're probably flirting with them. Uh, flirting's okay, but that's as far as it goes, Jamie. And she goes, oh, I can flirt with guys? Oh, okay. And then shortly after, I think the next day, he starts saying she can't do that. So, something like that. But, you know. You've been flirting with Rod, so, so I get the shaft because you want to go what on there and flirt that? with Rod. Well, well that's, that's what you just said. <laughs> An other guy? Oh, man. Somehow yeah, the flirting thing came in. Well, somehow the flirting thing no, came up. Stupid. You brought the flirting thing up, not me. I told you, internet fucks, they're, they're <laughs> worthless. They get in the way of relationships. You didn't believe me. They can be just online friends. Because you just oh, said no. I told you not to go online, so I reminded you of what you said. I told you, internet... 87 is right. I told you the internet is in... Why do you keep interrupting me? Again? You don't want to hear anything I say. So, because people are now calling you other guy, Blue Boy, I think that we need to be Blank Man and other guy. <laughs> Alright. Have you ever seen Blank Man? No. Oh, my... Okay, I'll send you a photo of Blank Man and other guy. You gotta see <laughs> All what right. we look like. Because this is America. Yeah. Internet Patriotism. can ruin this relationships. On the fourth. This 
is one very good example right Another here because free. online relationships, online friendships, joke of the brave. Joke. James can Mom. ruin real relationships. Home. I'm so glad people know Blank Man. You've got a very good point going on right now oh, with sorry, Rod. Miss. Never mind, we're not. Shut the fuck up. No. Oh, why? Because I'm, cause I'm talking about Rod? Oh, you seriously going to stick up the Rod for Rod to me? Because you are wrong. Shut the fuck well, up. Prove that I'm wrong, Jamie. I don't have to. You're going to stick up to Rod for me? She's like, this is America, home of the brave. <laughs> <laughs> so how is it that, that you don't notice that I'm calling you at 730? You insecure man child. Yeah. <laughs> insecure Jamie. When you start not you paying attention to me. Child. When you start paying attention, more attention to these fucks on the internet than you do to the person that you supposedly want to be with. Supposedly. Yeah, it, it makes me insecure. It makes me insecure and it makes me start thinking. Constantly oh, wow. reassure me, Jamie, do it. I will berate your nightly and still expect it. Jamie, get real. All, you, all you're all you saying is that I'm the one that's doing okay. everything wrong. All you're saying is that I'm doing yeah. the, one, uh, the one that's doing everything wrong. How can you not see what you're doing wrong? I've been trying to think of a way of a third is this makes night number two, Jamie. Oh no. In a row. Night number two, Blue Boy. Can you imagine? Night number two in a row. Oh, that actually changes it. Two nice in and, a row. And he also sent the warning call. Oh my So we might as well call it three nights in a row. <laughs> Let's make it a week. Let's just round up. <laughs> I forgot he about that. He can't the just say call. a second day, he has to say night number two. Night number two, yeah. This is this happened again. This yeah. <laughs> I love like catching those now. I want to make like a huge compilations of of you know. Why didn't you tell Roger a boyfriend? Unnecessarily. This yeah, the things he says unnecessarily long. Night number two. You know who it was because of. Who was it? Was it Rod? Take your guess now, guys. But if I fall asleep, uh -huh. you don't want you don't call me, you don't want to call me. <laughs> Why would she? Why I don't know. You used to. Well, maybe I was asleep, woke up, and decided to have a bath. Couldn't be that. No, it's because Lorne oh. says it's Rod, so that's what it is. Well, that's what it's been. It's been because of the internet. You insecure man child. Because, it's been because of the internet, and then last night it was because of Rod. Mm. Shut the fuck. Yeah. No, Jamie. Shut, shut the up. Fuck up. You bitch. No. You you telling me to shut the fuck up because you don't <laughs> want me to be wrong, or you don't want me to be right. You when you're wrong. the one that told me last night, you're, you're the one wrong. that told me that last night. Thanks, Trent. You are the one that told me that last night. You are wrong. I'm wrong that you told me that last night. Happy birthday. Um, Farmer donated again. I know you can't believe that, but he said, I can't believe I'm donating again! <laughs> uh, but we knew it was coming because he sent that warning donation. So thank you, Farmer. Yeah, thank you. You are wrong in how you are acting stupid. How long do you think you we're going to argue about this? Um, how am I acting, Jamie, by telling you the, that, you know... A couple hours. We, we are the two people that need to pay attention to each other. Two Jealous. That insecure, that's how. We are the two people that need to pay attention to Jealous. each other. Again. Insecure, that's how. Like, like we used to do. Jealous. Again. Sorry, I'll, I'll backtrack, guys. Sorry, so you don't miss anything. This is another weird phrasing. We need to pay attention to each other. This is what he says. Jealous. Insecure, that's how. We are the two people that need to pay attention to Jealous. each other. Insecure, that's how. Like, like we <laughs> used to do. Jealous. Insecure, that's how. We are the two people that need to pay attention to each other. Yeah, it can't be like, we need to focus on our relationship. Yeah, or... we should focus on each other right now. We are the two people that need to focus on each other the most right now. Thank you, Purple Drank Yoshi. I love that name. Uh, what is the brushy juice made of? Almond milk... 
tuna juice, cheese, Greek yogurt. I think that's it. And Lorne thought that came out of a woman's potty. He thought that that was coming out the puss. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> enough to bottle it. And, uh, enough. It It's breast milk and pussy juice. So this woman was, one, not pregnant and lactating, and had a, a river flowing downstairs. This man is an idiot. You, ha you had to shake it up so it didn't separate. <laughs> right, duh, you know. It's fucking so foul. It's like, uh, what is it, vinaigrette or some shit? What, what, do, you, what do you do that with? Yeah, like salad dressing. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. You're sour, honey. <laughs> you're sour, you're salty, honey. Uh, it was not actually from sweat. I mean, in canon, yes, but in reality, no. <laughs> I like that people believe that, though. I know there's people that have that asked you, me that you, <laughs> that you bottled your sweat. Like we went to that extreme. Yeah, <laughs> people DM me and be like, "Did you really do that?" No. <laughs> um, come on, guys. <laughs> what the fuck? That would be crazy. Come on. I mean, it's all a little crazy, but instead, I'm paying attention to you, but you're those, paying attention to the one. internet. What did I just say? Ooh, good question. You said I'm jealous. Am I jealous that, jealous. that you're paying more attention than the, the rod else? and the internet? Insecure. I heard, see this bullshit. I answer your questions, but you don't answer mine. Sure, <laughs> Lord. I would much rather you answer my questions. At least we'd be able to talk. We'd be able to talk What's about things and get. Movie? I guess we should. Um... <laughs> oh, Seriously, man. Jamie. Not the favorite movie, Blue. I think. Um, I think your. I think the shop needs a brussy juice shirt now. Oh yeah, we can have that. And maybe a coon moon. <laughs> man, I don't know who would who would purchase those. No. But yeah, we'll but I don't. I don't expect <laughs> anyone to buy any of them. It's just funny. It no, no, no. <laughs> it's just funny because we saw someone had shirts floating around, so we're like, we're gonna make our own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we pay attention to each other. Rushy juice. So I, you can't tell me that I didn't, didn't try to get you to tell me your favorite movie again because I was going to buy it and watch it and Maybe. make sure I didn't forget it, but you won't tell me what Stumbled it is. Stumbled all over that one. So you can't hold that against me anymore. Oh, is that how it works? So I'm willing you won't buy it tomorrow. We were actually supposed to go shopping Why yesterday. Should I? I told you twice we pay attention to each other. We we're, were supposed to go shopping today. Why should I? I yeah. told you twice we pay attention to each other. We were supposed to go shopping today for lights for the house. Christmas lights for the house, but... That I love when they would go shopping together. We went shopping together, which would be him going to yard sales, snapping photos of just, like, tables far away with his shitty camera, and be like, do you want any of this? And you can't even make out half the crap. It's like, sure. This. Or when he went to a, when he went to Walmart to buy the Christmas lights. Oh yeah, that was good. The color <clears> lights and, and the, the angels. And... The angel is my favorite. That was my. Yeah. That was the homage to to Ramona, and for some reason Lauren says that it looks like hers. So I mean, hey, do what you got to do, right? Um, Sting has donated and said, "It's Sting." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> are you on Blue Boy's stream, or is he on your stream, or are you on each other's streams? Uh, I mean, I'll be, let's just be frank with it. You're, Blue Boy's on my stream, <laughs> right? Yes. Blue Boy doesn't have streams. Stream. Is that correct to say, Blue Boy? I don't want to. I don't want to sound rude. I don't. I don't do streams. I'll go on streams. Hell yeah. Thanks, Sting. Sting. <laughs> it's time. Well, you want to answer my questions? Wah well, wah. Well. I love paying attention to you and what you want. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was random. I told you, Jamie, I'm not going to be put second to the internet. Oh my god. <laughs> That's not an answer to my question. I agree. What's your question? All you said was, we pay attention to what we want to each other, wah, wah, wah. Now, how's that a question? <laughs> Why should I? I told you twice we pay attention to each other. 
<clears throat> Why should we what? Holy Pay attention to each other? You really have a hard Probably. time following a conversation. Why should we pay attention to each other? Sure. If we want to be together, we kind of have to pay attention to each other, Jamie. Incorrect. Oh, I'm incorrect that we do, that we have to pay attention to each other? <laughs> Not what I asked. Hey, right, what'd you ask? Holy macaroni. You said we pay attention to each other. Why would I tell you my favorite movie a third time? Why wouldn't you, if you want me to know? Are you failing to Some, see uh, the point? He is. Um, no, I'm not failing to see the point, but I came up with a solution so that I wouldn't forget it, but you don't want to tell me what it is. My God! That's the solution is for Jamie point. to repeat herself over I told and over you the again. The solution is to just repeat it again. Let me go buy it. I'll probably ask you three more times before well, that. I still, I came up with a solution, so I won't forget what it was. But Holy you still don't want to tell me. It's the only fact that he has about her, so it's weird that he doesn't remember. I'm it. trying to make sure that I don't. Right, like he complains and complains no, about. I need like... to pay attention to what you want, but you don't pay any attention to shit I say. I'm just gonna stop my thought because the robot literally was saying. Jamie, stop about and say. think about it. Am I really that bad of a guy? I have. You are that bad of a guy. I'll answer. Am I really no. that bad of a guy? Yes, you are. <laughs> I am. <laughs> so you won't be with me. You really? treat me like shit. Do I really? Holy you are fuck. Am I really controlling? Or... Holy shit. That I won't argue with. I, I, I can be insecure. I'm more you insecure. Make your insecurity I'm more... is my issue. At least he owned it, guys. I'm, I'm more secure you with make you your than I have been. Is my issue. Jamie, I make sure that you're Jamie. not insecure. Yeah, it's weird, right? George Clapp? Sorry, not George Clapp. I'm not stupid. It's my boyfriend. What were you going to say, Blue Boy? Sorry. No, it was just what he just said. I make sure that you're not insecure. This? I'm more secure you with make you your than I have been. Is my issue. My Orient. Jamie, I make sure that you're not insecure. How does he do that? I'm not stupid. Uh, Perry Panther, thank you. Um, why don't you why don't you tell your wife that you had a mad stalker who follows you to work and that it's me? Uh, you know, I want to make her secure. That's why. I know. You're not insecure because you don't have anything to be insecure about. Because I make sure of it. Does that sound logic or what? How? I, I <laughs> want to know how he makes her... No, um, because he doesn't talk to any other women and then hounds her about who she's talking to. That's that's love. Right? Yes. If you're a psychopath. <laughs> right. I mean, you know. It sounds like love to me. No, I'm not insecure because I'm not. That's my job. Stop and think really hard. Am I really that bad of a guy? <laughs> he doubles down. Yes. Say what I want. Lauren. Am I really that bad of a guy? Yes. He's asked it, what, four times, five times? Yeah. Just he said yes each time. <laughs> yeah, she just wants so, he wants so badly for her to be like, no, you're right, Lauren. You're, you're a great guy. 30 minutes. Guy. 30 minutes went by and that's, that's what's happening. This call is him complaining about the 30 minutes that 30 he minutes. spent doing. God knows who, because I don't know if you want to be honest and tell me. You're hiding things. <laughs> um, well, Blue Boy, here's the thing is you got to understand that this is the second night in a row, two nights in a row or whatever, however you worded it, of this happening. So clearly someone's got her attention and is uh, distracted from him and not she's not concentrating on him. And you know, you other know, ways Lawrence. She got the warning call. 
It's true. Those sirens went off and she still didn't answer at the right time. What a bitch. You know, I'm starting to agree with Warren here. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm about to go off. 9 a.m. I'm muted for that, not for you, okay, sir, so, so, me wanting to do your closet up like you want, it makes me a bad guy. Holy fuck, the closet. Gee, he's got me, a point there. Me saving out the stuff that you want me to save out makes me a bad guy. Holy shit, listen to this guilt trip. Me going shopping for a Christmas tree and the decorations. This is looking The bad stuff you, greatly outweighs you wanted, these stupid makes me a bad guy. little fucking Seriously. things he does for her. Yeah, no, agreed, agreed. I mean, you would think that this one Christmas tree he got one time somehow outweighs the year plus of the, abuse. Yeah, in the time he's lied about a Christmas tree, so we can, that's a wash. <laughs> yeah. Can I end with, with uh, yeah, yeah, definitely Blaze Runner, so I can remember. Sorry, I tried to, I tried to stop it. I was looking at something, so I, I didn't, I wanted you to have full rain without Lauren. No, over. sorry. I know I, I, someone said I talk over the no, pause a lot, that, but I don't have, I don't have power over the pause button. No, uh, yeah, that's, that's my bad, but uh, we'll go back and you guys can hear that without us talking over it, so, which is what we do. Um, but yeah, I agree with you. It's a good point. Me going shopping for a Christmas tree and the decorations, this is looking making sure it was all <laughs> you all what you wanted, that makes me a bad guy. That's it? Seriously, yeah. Huh? Huh? What Christmas tree? The yeah, one you lied about? Interrupt whenever you want, Blue Boy. Don't worry about what two people have to say. You know? Seriously, Jamie, we didn't just go shopping last week? Shopping last week? The fuck? He's listed things he's done in the past, like, two Somebody days. Did you pictures of, right. of everything that was there? I'm trying to get away so I can pause this. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it happened one day ago, so clearly it should be fresh on her mind, and, uh, and she should be thinking about that and not all of the other shitty things he's done, right? Because he did it today. Holy shit, that smells. Um, he did it today, so therefore it's... Um, it's all good, you know? I'm sorry, my, my glue was open, I guess, or something. Jesus. What else is? Your glue is open? Yeah, super glue. Wow. I opened my drawer and I could smell it. Um, thank you, Stefan. Uh, Lauren thinks apologizing for being a pizza shit makes him a good big guy. Thank you for making a good day. It, oh, making it a good day. Reborn and blue boy. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. And I agree. Oh, look at that. The thruple reigning supreme. Go back because I fucked that up. I didn't send you pictures of, of everything that was there and get the things that you wanted, that you liked, because I wanted you to like everything. You have consistently accused me of shit every other day. Every other day. Well, Jamie, do you, do you think something is, is wrong when... Do you think that something is wrong when you're paying more attention? Do you think something is wrong when you're paying more attention to a guy on the internet versus your own boyfriend? Do you, you don't see something wrong with that? What was the issue before the internet guy's lawn? <laughs> And the issue before that. And the issue before that. And the issue point. before that. And the issue before that. And the issue before that. The issue before that. And 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 the issue before that. Alright. Alright. A lot of issues. So if I give you a list, you're gonna let me list it? Oh my god. Of excuses. Of excuses. There are excuses to things that happen. There's only two answers. Um, Tom wants to know if we think there will ever be another catfish saga, or if uh, if it's over. Um, 
I don't know. It, it'd take someone who's willing to go on camera with them. And um, it's, it'll be harder to catfish them now, I think. But you can definitely do it. Yeah, I, I think it's possible. Uh, never, as Lauren once said, stated, never underestimate the impossible, or whatever the hell it was. The and I live by those words. <laughs> yeah, I take those words with me everywhere I go. Um, <laughs> I think it's going to be much, much more difficult to do now. See, we got we got Chupa Grants on here who is willing to show his literal asshole. See, now that's all you. And, and that's that's the kind of commitment that it takes now yeah. to get Lauren hooked. And you know what? I think with that kind of um, with that kind of attitude and that and that uh, you know drive, you you're gonna get there. You know. Yeah. Octopushy will go on camera as a, as a deep fake of Miranda Lambert. That oh, would be good. That would be a good one. Yeah, it's... I've thought about that, like, trying to figure out a way to get, like, a... Yeah. Yeah, I've definitely but, um... figured out... Yeah, it, that's, it requires more effort than I'm willing to put in to figure out how to, like, get a fake, like, AI woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kintaro says AI, AI and deepfakes are the next thing, next level. The thing is, I get what you're saying, because the robot was so, not lazy, but just didn't want to try and fucking learn that uh, the typing just lasted forever. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, uh, you know, I, you kid Bogue is great. What are the two answers? Jealousy. This is live. We are live, pal. Um, also, Braden says, issue sh shuck extremely. I agree, Braden. Thank you. And, uh, of course, back at it again. It's Sting! Uh, <laughs> they <laughs> says, so you stream with Blue Boy and not with me. I bet you're on webcam with him right now. Are you trying to impress him? Work on impressing yourself. You are like Amanda James and Paula. Sting, I'm sorry. We're Please. making, uh, we're making French sausages together. <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah, it's just French. It's just French sausage, and it's French. He said sausage. I handled it well. I like how he can't even get sausages out. It's like sausage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jealousy and security. You're damn straight. Because You're damn straight. Because when you allow when you allow another guy to see you naked uh, and don't care about it. Right, it makes Kong. me insecure. It, it makes me insecure and jealous. Right, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is my bad. When you're from the, when you pay the more attention right, to Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong than than you do your own fiance, that makes me insecure and jealous. That's another because guy. I can, because I get That's I get another nothing. Guy. Another guy or another wife? Because I get nothing That's of you. Guy. I get nothing of you. That's another guy. But Donkey Kong, but Donkey Kong gets That's all. That's another guy. All right, Jimmy, relax. It's not the issue of you playing Donkey Kong. Dink -ding. It's the issue that you fo your all your focus was on the Donkey issue Kong. Is you. I agree. That's the best. All your focus was on Donkey Kong. The issue is you. Um, you guys are my heroes. Please find another woman willing to catfish. These calls can never end. Thank you so you much. You want to do it? <laughs> all right. Um, you can do it. Uh, again. It's gonna take some work, and I I believe there is still a guard at the at the gate. So, yeah, all women hit me up. We'll figure out a way to get you in there. <laughs> Don't mind. Ugh. Don't. <sighs> okay, so if I uh, who is sorry, who is. Which catfish is Lauren most likely to take back if you could convince him they were not actually catfish? There's, I think there's two. I, I think there was only one possibility until the robot got kind of letter writers ruin that shit. But uh, I'd say there's two. It's it's Jamie and it's Debbie. I think those are the two that could get him back if it yeah. was able to happen. It. Would you? What would I you think say? Ramona could. Yeah, 
Possibly. I, see, here's the thing is I don't know what all was said to him about her. Um, he never really mentions her whenever he's bringing up the fake ones. At least to Casey, it's always that's Winnie. True. It's almost like he forgot. Yeah, he probably forgets that she existed. Because I, um, I know there's a point where he says to Jamie something like, I've, I've never proposed to anyone before. You're the first one. And she's like, well, that's a crock of shit. <laughs> You know, and yeah. Ramona was never brought up, so. Even when he, quote, remembered things, you know, it was Winnie. That was it. Um, all right, I guess we can go back to the call. Oh, uh, Love donated and said, I have never seen Lawrence Bent Dick. Am I allowed to be a part of this community still? Of course you can. Of course, of course I do. Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, I would recommend not looking at it, to be honest with you. But it's wait, burned you into my brain. <laughs> it's burned into my retinas. It's traumatizing. It's awful. He sends a lot of photos of it. Okay, so if... I, I don't know if you read this or not. The text that I sent you earlier and all. I have never, but, ever had someone treat me this way. She... I don't know if... Ever. I don't know if you... <sighs> I don't know if you read the text that I sent you earlier, but... I don't give a shit. Let's <laughs> see, how are you going to know if you don't give a shit? <laughs> we, we've because spent I enough don't. time... I don't know, Zach. It's a hard sell. Well, maybe you need to start. Maybe that's part of the problem, Jamie. Okay, let's hear it, Cuffy. Heck, you cuck. Let's hear it. We've spent enough time pointing out to each other what each other are doing is doing wrong. Uh -huh. So what if we stop pointing out to each other and just enjoy each other and then think about the time that we spent with each other. Haven't you been doing that all night? I was just about to pause and, and see that. if we can figure out ourselves. Haven't you been what doing that all wrong. night? Yeah, come on, you didn't even let me finish, so you don't know what I'm saying. So he's sitting there, Blue Boy, telling telling Jamie, like, let's stop picking out all the bad things we do and have fun while we're on the phone. But didn't he open this call up just bitching about how she didn't answer when he wanted? Yeah. It's really weird. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Um, Patrick has a question. He says it's very important. Is it dude, dude love or mankind? Mankind. Mankind. I was thinking about uh, so Mr. Questionnaire is gonna get added to the roster. So the three the three faces I'm gonna like Will is pretty much Foley. He's got three faces of Foley. There's Will, mm -hmm. there's GG, and there's Mr. Questionnaire. And I guess Mr. Questionnaire would be Mankind because that's the only one. Left. What about Willy Wonka? Well, Won Will it, Will is dressed as Willy Wonka, so oh okay. Wonka's taken, and that's like his dude love persona, and then. Uh, GG his is, is his Cactus Jack. I don't know. I thought it was funny. Uh, I'm late. Hello's Mike Scott. What about LJ? I don't really include LJ. I mean, it all kind of fell apart real quick. It's like saying... Never mind. After we're done, and we're not on the phone with each other, Stop and think about our conversation with each other and see what we did wrong ourselves. And then... And then? Tell each other what... Let's not point the finger at each other, as he has spent 30 minutes pointing the finger at me. What? Got it. That's because you did... That's because you did the same thing. Blue cane. And Green you want me to be Panda. stupid. Blue cane is the best gimmick I've seen in a long time. Um... George Glass says that the community members should have a contest to win a spot in the game. If there are people that would like to be on the roster, you can DM me on on uh, Discord, and I will put you in there somehow. <laughs> I'm more than willing to add people to the roster. So there's a hundred spots. I don't know what we're at right now, but there you go. Well, you want me to be Great stupid, plan. and it's like just no. Great plan, Cuffy. Just no. If you're on the roster. This is all AI playing, so you can lose to Lauren, and that you have to be able to, to accept that. <laughs> <laughs> to so. <live> with that. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, so... Oh, shit. I just moved the fucking thing. God damn it. Um, here's the thing, Omega. I, I would, but I only would do it if, if other people agreed, because I don't want to cause shit with this. I'm just trying to have fun with it, so... Just put the Undertaker in and oh, we'll just call it Kill Bill. Yeah. Um, fuck. I don't know where we were, guys. I'm so sorry. I, I clicked the wrong bar when I paused it. Uh... And the <laughs> and the the okay, we're past that. Sorry, guys. Okay, so if... I, I don't know if you read this or not. The text that I sent you earlier and all. Have we heard this part? I have never, but, ever had someone treat me this way. She. I don't know if... Ever. I don't know if you... I don't know if you read the text that I sent you earlier. But... I don't give a shit. <laughs> okay, we did hear this part. How are you gonna know if you don't give a shit? <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with hearing that part again. We have spent enough time... Winner of this match, too. Well, maybe you need to start. Maybe that's part of the problem, Jamie. I think we were a little okay, past let's this. Hear it copy. We'll just we'll play from here, guys. Sorry, sorry about that. That was my bad. We've spent enough time pointing out to each other what each other are doing is doing wrong. So what if we stop pointing All out right, to each yeah, other I about this. No. and just enjoy each other? And then think about the time that we spent with each other. Haven't you been doing that all night? And see if we can figure out ourselves. Haven't you been doing that wrong. all night? Yeah, come on, you didn't even let me finish, so you don't know what I'm saying. Well, it was a stupid point. I don't really, I don't understand what he's trying to say. I don't know either because he he's sitting there saying, "Let's let's stop pointing out our bad stuff and have and have a nice time together." But he spent. I don't even know how long at this point. Um, he right, has, he started this. He has spent at least 25 minutes grilling her over 30 minutes. So, I don't know, you know. Um, for anyone that in the chat that said something like, can I join the roster, just, just say something in the comments below because I will not be able to remember. Just if someone did, I guess. But yeah, Blue Boy... I, it makes no sense because he's complaining about what he's doing, you know. But that's classic Warren. Say, uh, say that both of you are doing the thing that only he is doing, and then cry about it. After we're done, and we're not on the phone with each other, stop and think about our conversation with each other and see what we did wrong ourselves. And then seems like a lot of work for a relationship. Yeah. Tell each other what. Do you really think Lauren's going to self-reflect and point out the things he did wrong? No, of course not. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. Tell each other what. Let's not point the finger at each other, as he has spent thirty minutes pointing the finger at me. What? Got it. That's because you did. That's because you did the same thing. And Great you want me to be up. stupid. Well, you want me to be Great stupid, plan. and it's like... Great plan, Cuffy. Well, you want me to be stupid, and I'm not stupid. Uh, I beg to differ. <laughs> you are stupid. And you don't want to tell me what what goes on. I can oh, ask you, fuck. you don't tell me. I told you already, <laughs> dummy. It's like, it's like it never happened. Well, I know you did this time. I, I don't know... No idea why you didn't take your phone with you in the bathtub. I mean, or send me a text. Oh, I'm take your talk. phone in the Are bathtub. You Are you Call fucking me kidding me? Like, I couldn't imagine that much a possessiveness over someone being like, I don't know why you didn't go to take your phone to the bathtub with you. Because I didn't yeah, want to. Maybe, yeah, maybe he's trying to relax. And he's going to deal with your fucking text messages? <laughs> I was going to say, he's not making her relax in any way, shape, or form. It's just... Those are the moments where it's like, 
I think about if a real woman was there and what would happen. Yeah, she, see, he can, he would never have a real girlfriend because of stuff like this. No, no, they wouldn't have a life. I mean, he would want to inspect the phone constantly. If she were texting or even just laughing at her phone, he would need to know instantly who she's, what she's laughing at or who she's talking to, you know? Yeah. And that's just no way to live. So. Thank you for this TED Talk. Well, it has to be a way. Well, Jamie, you get me so wound up about these fucking guys on the internet. No, I'm trying not to be wound up about it anymore. I'm I'm tired of being wound up about them. I I want I want you to be up to this. Not me. Stop blaming me for your fucking insecurities. Yeah, buddy. I want you to be able to make money from a movie. That's you, it's not me. Stop blaming me for your fucking insecurities. How are you gonna fucking hear what I'm saying if you're talking over me? (laughs) Fuck you, bitch. I want you to be able to make money. Do you? Am I thrilled about you doing a movie with Rod? Nope. Not even a little bit. You don't say. But I know how much you need money. So I'm, I'm trying to be able to do oh, that. well, thanks for ignoring my point. Glad I listened. <sighs> yeah, my insecurities, yeah, I know. Fucking hell. Jamie, I'm in love with you. Don't ever think it's easy for me uh, to think that some other guy is going to be with you. Jamie, go to him. I told you that a long Jamie. time ago. That's Good not thing I stopped me. and listened to what you said. You addressed it really well. Oh, it's not, it's not easy for me. I'm so fucking in love with you and it. That's sarcasm. It, I'm so fucking in love with you. It's very hard. Listen, I'm so fucking very in love hard with you. It's very hard in order for me to be able to deal with it, we need to talk about us. We need Fake to be able to be, or whatever. Oh. You need to be able to tell her to talk to me about things. Let me be able to get over it. Let me scream at you so that I can feel better. Okay, Jamie? So where have you addressed what I said? That's a great question. Um, I weren't even done talking. I was trying to finish my thought. He stopped talking! (laughs) Hold on. Sorry, guys. I I know I'm getting aggressive here. Let's just go back and re-listen, okay? Whatever. You need to be able to tell her to talk to me about things. Let me be able to get over it. Okay. I'm not going to... Okay, I'm going to play that part. And we're just going to listen to the silence. Let's count how long it took before his next thought came out. Let me be able to get over it. One, two, three, four, five. So where have you addressed what I said? Um, I were not even done talking. I was trying to finish my thought. What? (laughs) You were done. (laughs) Oh, my God. What's new? Austin, how do I feel about you? I know. Be I get mean, lost Jamie. in how I be feel mean. about you. Why Another shit thing. way of saying something, you know? I yeah. get lost in the way I think about you, blue boy. I get lost in it. I go back, my mind there. And... <laughs> be mean, Jamie. That'll cure the whole thing. Come on now. You can just tell me it all, and then tell me it all over again, so you can let me address it. Says the guy yelling and lecturing me every night. No, I'm Real sorry, nice. my emotions get my emotions getting away. Duck off. Duck off. Duck off. Duck off. I like how his, his like baby boy explanation is. No, oh, my emotions get in the way. It's like, no, dude, that's just how you think. Like, let's let's not beat around the bush here. That's just your thought process. Yeah. Um, let me know how long it takes for a thought to... Yeah, that's true, Eureka's one. <laughs> that that delay is just brutal. I was no dog! And so they never talked again. Um, and that's, and that's that. Wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, Pee Wee Herman representative donated and said, Just a friendly reminder that Lauren is stupid. Thank you for the reminder. You're stupid. Is that a warning reminder? Or just a reminder? <laughs> Thank you, uh, Pee Wee Herman's representative. 
What the fuck do you want? <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. Oh, that was cute. <laughs> Savage. We, we was that not adorable right there? Oh. I'm trying. I'm trying to do it a different way. Oh, baby boy's here. You are trying. Really, Jamie? Jamie took. Jamie, you are it's not miserably. easy. Jamie, hit him with a you never changed, please. I love you, and it's not easy for me to think of somebody else with you. Then don't date a porn star. Yeah, every day so someone else is with her. You need to be able to do it. You need to be able to Sometimes talk to me about different, it. Sometimes multiple people a day. Right, so what did I say about your insecurities? You said they get in the way. No, I didn't. Well, there's, what you said was basically the same thing. My insecurity is getting in the way. Is it? Is that what you said? Get in the way. No, I'm I so lost. I look at the wrestling for like not your job, 10 seconds and then I, I tune out. Uh huh. And then oh, I re listen to what we're playing and I, I'm completely lost. Come on, it's Mr. We need to pay attention. It's, it's just his brain, dude. Sorry, yeah. I don't get a word for it. It's my insecurities that are the problem. Like, Jamie's what going, you you're an insecure you're little bitch, and you take it out yep. on me, and he goes, my, is, my emotions get in the way, is what you're saying. You is are it? even in the ballpark. I said that tonight. <laughs> Can you hear me? They are yours to deal with, not mine. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I'm dealing. I'm trying to deal with yeah, them. Well. It doesn't help when you don't answer my questions or you oh, don't talk to me about God. them. Oh God! Oh, Sheffrey's the new champ. Hell yeah! See, you missed the point. <laughs> no, Jamie, I didn't miss the point. Uh, George, the point the has a question. To talk to me about it. What was my? Yeah. What is the question? Sorry. I'm updating Sheffrey as champion. It's important. Uh, I can't scroll up. Uh, do you think do you think Warren thought he'd actually get over her being a porn star, or was or did he think he would convince her to quit? He thought he would convince her to quit. No, no question in my mind. The the problem I guess ar arises is that at the beginning. When, when Jamie had a voice, she said she was retiring at 25 and, and opening a flower shop or some, some bullshit. And yeah, so. My mother had these weird, like, backstories that just didn't make any sense. Like, she was trying to live through her, like, her fantasies out through her catfish. Because I don't know why. Well. Jamie needed to open a plant store or, like, why that even needed to be right, didn't, part of it. Didn't Jamie have, like, 300 grand in the in the bank and she said she didn't have enough to open her store with yet something like that yeah it's like okay. yeah so lauren hung on to that obviously but as soon as the robot came around um she immediately called that off maybe yeah maybe viral effects that might be it um she immediately called it off and said, like, I'm not retiring at 25. I'm doing this until I can't do it anymore. I, I like it. Uh, I need the money. Yada, yada, yada. And from that point on, Lauren would just kind of, like, guilt her and be like, well, you said when you turned 25, you were going to retire. And it's like, okay, well, that hasn't happened in ages. So what do you, what do you got now? And he didn't and open up a plant shop. <laughs> so. But, yeah, there was some really... I don't know. The when Jamie had a voice, there was a lot of weird stuff going on. Oh, weird stuff, yeah. I hope that answered your question. The point is, you should be able to talk to me about it. What was my and let me. Uh, and the point is, my uh, my answer is my problem. Uh, how are you going to get my answer if you keep interrupting me? Night the Roxbury count three. The point is my insecurity is my problem that I have to deal with. Well, I'm trying to deal with them. 
That, correct. That's correct, Eureka's Chastel. He has to blame someone for making that decision because she would, she wants to be with Warren, and someone had to have convinced her to keep being in the business, even though that's not what happened. But the way I the, the way I want to deal with it is, I want you to be able to talk to me about shit. That means I want you to be able to talk to me about stuff. And not hide shit from me. No. Not hide it from me. No. Oh, he's pissing? Okay. What a piss. closeness. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, did we really pause so he can pee? I think, because I don't think Jamie says much after this, so... Oh. I guess it was just to let him finish his piss to see if he would do it. He couldn't just, like, be like, hey, I'll be right back. He knows how to put himself on mute because he says he can do it all the time. Oh, boom, 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 boom. You deal with your insecurities, that means I don't have to answer to your made-up fantasies in your mind. There you go. There's no way it took her that long to write that. Does he wash his hands? Do we hear him? Do we hear him use the faucet? Okay, so nope. when your assumptions are not fact, and I don't have to deal with it. I don't know if you're done or not. Skip the silence. I'm being patient because I don't know if you're done talking or not. Oh, I respect. <laughs> Do you understand I can find someone better that won't put me through this shit day in and day out? And you continue oh, no. this horse shit all the time. <laughs> you made MJ cry that should be enough to never speak to you again. <laughs> Jamie. Yet I'm here and it doesn't mean fuck all to you. Damn. You are ungrateful. Jamie's going for the jugular. Lauren, comment, sheet rock, comment. I'm going to let the silence play out for this so you guys can hear how long it takes him to come up with a retort. You are jobless still. When's that unemployment run out? Uh -oh. Runs out on the 20th. Some tears coming? I'm going to work. thought it was New Year's. I thought it was, uh, they said December 26th, but then I, uh, on the news they said December 26th, but I, I decided to call them and find out for sure. They said December 20th, but... Right, so that's why you were panicked for money? No. I'm going to be working for Mila again. I don't know who that is. Knowing that, I'm trying to do everything I can to get the word out about who this. Who the fuck is that? Mila is the lady in Madison. She's the same one that I've been doing work for. With the concrete wall and carpentry and all that. How am I supposed oh, to know this is the first time you've said her name? Well, you said it before when I was out in the, outside with Roy. Yes, Remember that, that day that Roy was talking about it? And you were on the phone with me? I told you that Mila didn't want him over there. Holy we drank, fuck. He was just drinking. He was bitching about it. I told me he had nothing Move to bitch on, about Lauren. because Shit. she was right. I was falling asleep. Oh. I didn't, didn't know you were falling asleep. I just know I had you on the phone. I was making you part of my anyway. life. <clears throat> I 
anyway. I'm sorry so for you making Mega Joe cry. I always apologize for making Mega Joe cry. Well, she Sweet. still needs help. She still wants me to help her. Poor woman. So right, how many wrong? times have you walked out or bitched about it? No, doesn't doesn't mean I'm, I I walked out once. She knew why too. And I talked about it with her after. She she said you're right, and I agreed to it. And... Has it been explained why he right, um, quote walked out? Uh, I don't think so. Do you want to tell the story? Do you remember it? Um, I vaguely remember it. Try. I'll fill the gaps in. Um. He was taking too long, or he was doing the he was doing putting the roof on incorrectly, so she hired someone else to do it. Is that right? Um, close. So, well, this is of course Lawrence. I would say that's probably what happened because we saw I saw pics of Lawrence trying to go to the roof. Um, he says that he told her not to hire someone else and that he would do the roof because he knows what he's doing, and she said no and hired someone anyways. So Lauren got all bitchy and told her, like, pretty much to go fuck herself, and he walked off the job. Something like that. I want to say he, when he was telling the story, he says something like, she was saying I was using the wrong wood or something like that, or they were using the wrong wood and Lauren didn't want to use that wood. He was complaining to them that they were using the wrong stuff and that um, it wasn't as good as the old wood they had or something. But <laughs> the old Lauren, new uh, wood is better. Yeah. Than the dump wood. But uh, I do remember at one point there was like a support beam that went from the bottom floor to the second floor, and Lauren was like trying to cut into them, and I, I and they and uh, and it's like that's a bad move, something like that. I, I got the I whole place would have collapsed. Yeah, it was like the beam supporting the whole building. Yeah, up. it was something like that. I can't remember the exact thing right now guys sorry it's again one of those things that kind of slips through the cracks but it has to do with this giant beam and uh lauren thought he knew best i mean you know master carpenter so <laughs> let's just take this out it's supporting the whole structure yeah you know what there's enough of them you can take one out <laughs> should be fine let me oh wait pardon me um my, my precious mailbox donated and said, I usually listen to these while high. For America Day, I'm drunk. High is better. Well, thank you. Um, I'm, uh, I'm America. That's all I got for that. Part of it is because I know she's in a bad position and nobody's, you know, she can't keep anybody there and I feel bad for her. She's hiring you. I'm pretty sure she's looking in the wrong spots, bro. <laughs> I need the money too. I'm sorry for making Maggie Joe cry. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Why did he make her cry? Um, I don't remember. She said it in the first part of this call. Something about. You, the way you treated me and the things you said to me made Maggie Joe cry. Something to that effect. I can't remember the exact reason, though. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I didn't know some bad. I'm sorry for that. I am sorry for that. You're all who's my cool on shit. Whatever. I don't want to yell at you. I don't want to be mad at you. I don't want to yell at you. Wow, you just have a weird way of showing that one. You do it all yeah, the time. Just don't do it then. Yeah. I want to love you so fucking it. much, and I do love you so fucking much, and I get wound up because I know what the internet can do. <laughs> and I, I and abuse you because I love you. I get, I get mad because I know what the internet can do. <laughs> the internet's fine if you're not doing shady shit on there like talking to children. Right. I just imagine it being like a, a being that Lauren thinks is real, like just a guy named Internet walking around fucking shit, shit up. Yeah, I always in my head I always picture it like yeah, like a building, like the library, like it's just like the Internet. Yeah. I feel like you go into it. I know what happens at the Internet. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh man, that is a dumb. Sorry, hold on, push play in a second. I'm, I'm, I don't like things that apologize to MJ. I don't like Jamie. Don't push things on me with her. Like apologizing. You better apologize <laughs> right. to MJ. Like being a decent human being. Jamie, and don't push things behavior. on me with her. It's bad enough that you told me that Do you're it. in love with her. Ooh. It's bad enough that you told me you're Do in love it. with her. That shit is not right. I'm no. I'm not. I'm not gonna listen to her mouth right now. He shouldn't say right now. I wasn't cussing her out. Next time you to talk to her, you better say sorry. Ooh. I will. Just don't make that next time tonight. It's not the time for it. It's not the time for it. Okay. I would really like to have a time where just me and Maggie Joe could talk alone. No, I bet you Nobody would. there but just yeah, me and say, Maggie yeah. Joe. But I know that's not going to happen. You get a wicked hat on. Just so that me and her can try to become friends. Uh -huh. Maggie Joe doesn't like that's him not gonna because happen. of how he treats Jamie. I didn't, yeah, but if he sweet talks her, then she doesn't mind being the one that it's being done to, right? Like, <laughs> oh. Jamie or MJ wouldn't care, or like, she wouldn't mind Lauren if he just treated her right. Right, yeah. She would have no issue with Lauren. Well, she did like mentioning his charge, but. Um, okay. And that he's not a country boy. And that he's not a country boy. I've seen a lot of people theorize that based on, you know, past dealings that MJ would have been the next one in line for Lauren but there was not I don't think that was ever going to happen so she could have been if she wanted to I think definitely could have but yeah you guys it would have taken me. that one phone call that one phone call it could have turned everything around that's true you're right I mean because any any chance for like Lauren to redeem himself for someone is also uh, an opportunity to court them yeah Good point. You're right. Um, I know we've been but asked. Yeah, Hannah, but though. Will more MJ calls be released? Uh, as of right now, Farmer, uh, MJ, pro MJ calls probably won't come out. So I'm just giving you guys a fair warning now. What about Hannah calls? Will they come out? Oh, oh, oh man. I would love to release a Hannah call, but they're really bad. And now people are going to say, who's Hannah? Thanks a lot, Blue Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have we not talked about Hannah before? I don't think so. Oh, my bad. No, it's all good. Uh, I mean, I'll say this. Uh, I'll say this. Uh, I've heard people say that this is easy, right? Talking to Lauren, getting yeah. jealous, you know, making them mad. I could get on the phone with them and do this easily. Like, it, it's it's not, you know, it's not an issue for me. Those are my favorite comments to read. Yes. Um, are the ones so, where people are like, all you got to do is do this, this, and this, and, and Lauren will you get him yelling or sucker him in. It's like, nope. That is not how it works. And then it's also like, well, and I'm not going to put up with the text, and I'm not going to put up with him calling me all the time. Okay, well, good luck with it. <laughs> good luck. Um, we but, have proof of what that looks like when you <laughs> right. uh, think you can do it. So basically, Hannah, I'm not going to, I'm not saying who's who or what. Who's better, Hannah or Justine? If I had better, a tier list, as in worse. If I had a tier list of characters, those those two would be at the bottom. <laughs> um. So I'm gonna say hey, yeah. the Hannah ones to me are funnier. They are funny because. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, you know, I don't want to know. I can't. I don't know what to say anymore. Okay, so. So here's Han. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna explain to you guys who Han is, because odds are, again, I, unfortunately, these probably won't go up. Um, so will unkayfabe. So uh, shoot, shoot here. Basically, the robot was fed up. Was like done uh, with Lauren at one point, and was trying to find someone to replace her. Uh, and we had a replacement. And we had a replacement. And um, they were their character was basically a woman named Hannah who was Will's stepsister, and um, 
they were given an opportunity to talk to Lauren. Um, and, and in my opinion, it was not good. <laughs> and this person, the only reason it didn't continue is because they, they were impatient. Yeah, they were behind the scenes. So demanding. We weren't gatekeeping or like saying like, you know, like, oh, no, you can't troll Lorne. They willingly gave it up because they, they couldn't. It wasn't being handed off quick enough. Yeah, like the intros so. and exits, there there was times set in to make it more, not realistic, but, you know, if, if you were talking to somebody for, for a year and then they're like, oh, by the way, Will's stepsister's coming over right now to talk to you, you're going to be like, yeah, that's not weird. I mean, I know it's Lauren, but... Yeah. So, this person would demand in my... Well, you know, in the robots DMs, saying, like, you need to get... If you don't want me here, and, uh, and you know, give me on the phone. Yeah. And, uh. So, there's a couple calls. Um, one of them was Will and her on the phone with Lauren... <laughs> And Will had to go to the bathroom, and these bathroom breaks were very long. Weird, right? And uh, it was their opportunity to talk to Lauren one-on-one -on -one and show that this is worth handing off to. And if, it was a, if there was a grade for the test, it was very low, and they did not pass. Is that a good way of putting it, Blue Boy? Yeah. I mean, this isn't for everyone. I mean, I get it. I'm not trying to, like talk us up but for the people who think they can just jump in and do it I've seen people try and they were not good that's my uh, that's that's what I got for you and yeah thank you Sig Sigmund that's that's awesome of you <laughs> viral effects basically Hannah tried to catch me in the bank but sand doubt it wait what was it sorry <laughs> read viral effects <laughs> comment so basically hannah tried to cash in money in the bank but she, yeah yeah uh definitely i'm trying to think who else failed on a cash in um jennifer you both gave a lot of credit uh you get a lot of credit for dealing with 87 thank you so much appreciate it i think nca that i think that's why the name hannah was picked out that is why because... the name was picked out deep cuts uh, but yeah, so that's the Hannah story. I mean, maybe maybe one day when I'm like really feeling it, but like I'm tr I try not to. Uh, I mean, I wasn't even gonna mention the character. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Reborn doesn't like stirring the pot. I don't like I'm stirring sorry. the pot. I, I could have sworn that that was mentioned before. No, I don't think I've mentioned it. I, I would remember <laughs> that. Uh, My bad. I, I, no, it's all good. It's just I've, I've been dragged enough <laughs> for doing nothing, you know. So it, even when I'm like I'm not stirring the pot, I'm getting shit. So I just don't want to give people an opportunity to have one, you know. It's kind of fun though. Stir in the pot a little bit. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day. Um But yeah, that's the that's the Hannah story for now. We'll see what happens. But it's I'll give you I'll give you a preview of what it's like, okay? I'll give you a preview. Um so Lauren's being confronted with his shit behavior by Will or MJ or something, and this is what happens. Lauren has presented a question. Lauren should answer the question. Before he can get an answer out, Hannah <laughs> Hannah plows over everybody with I'm I'm new here. I'm new here and I'm not judging anyone and I'm and I'm new. And uh you know, MJ, I'm here in your home. I'm standing beside you in your home and I want you to know that I'm new here and I'm not judging you. But would you think that <laughs> That is a good thing to say to Lauren, and then she she would she would present outs for Lauren for his behavior. So like, yeah, that was my favorite part because it was so frustrating. Where like Will is trying to like stir up a scenario, or Jamie's yeah. trying to like you know do something like, he was and, and and Hannah just instantly just diffuses it. And it's like, okay, now where do we go? Yeah, okay, all right, we're not doing that one. Next one, <laughs> you know. Okay, uh, okay, like, you're taking away everything. Um, I'm trying to think of a good example. There, there was another time where, where Hannah was like, 
she said something. I got sorry, I, can't, I don't have direct quotes, but she she said something to Lauren, and then goes, she she quotes him, and then goes, "Would it be better to say?" And then just rewords what Lauren says, and then Lauren's like, "That's very fair to say." <laughs> like yeah, I, yeah. Lauren would just be like, "Yeah, that's what I just yeah, said." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm really trying to get a, a, a solid example of. Like Lauren, do you think that um, you get mad sometimes because your insecurities over control you and and you don't mean to do these things, but it happens? And he goes, "Yeah, yeah, I would." And it's like, why would you let him say that? Like that's the wrong yeah. answer. Yeah. Um. But yeah, there was a lot of "I'm new here"s. Uh, there was a lot of uh, "I'm not judging you's." She was scared of turkeys oh. or something. Can I tell them the address thing? Oh, fuck. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, they were they live at MJ's house, right? And MJ doesn't want Lauren to have her address. Mm. And out of nowhere... Unprovoked. Hannah just... Unprovoked, Hannah just goes, Lauren, I'm here, and I don't even know the address. <laughs> Will picked me up and, like, blindfolded her. Like, yeah. I don't even know what the fucking the point was. Yeah, like, Will, Will came and grabbed her, put a bag over her head, and was like, you can't take this off until we're inside because that... there's like i think mg's reason for not giving lauren the address was that there was a stalker, a stalker so from jamie her old address was the address that lamandre was sent from and she moved due to a stalker like there was a guy that kept going by their house all the time after that happened yeah roush is in a treadmill um uh but uh, so so that she moved because it was getting really scary, and Lauren. That's why Lauren goes. You slipped up and told me you still had the same address. Da, 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 da. And so that's why she didn't tell Lauren the new address because she was worried that the stalker happened because he leaked her address. Kind of like Lauren gets paranoid, you know. So uh, her idea was to say, yeah, you know, Lauren, I'm new here and I don't want to. What what was her thing? She would always say. I'm not I'm judging here and, anyone here, and I'm, I'm not new. judging anyone. My favorite line of address, Hannah was when she said, "Maggie Jo, I'm here in your home, right now beside you." And it's like, oh, okay, that's way to pay to venture. <laughs> you know? It's like Lauren, I don't even know the address here, and I I'm don't. in the house. Yeah, just what the fuck? Like, what the that? fuck? Why did you say that? What is that? Yeah, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Like, Will, can it trust his own sister because there's a stalker? I don't, really didn't understand <laughs> right. it. Right. It was so dumb. Uh, but, yeah, it, again, now, I'll, Even Lauren, I'll give... Sorry, go ahead. No, just Lauren at some points was just like, okay. Like, Lauren was like, who is this chick? Yeah, there was, there was a point, I think it was the turkey thing. She said that turkeys were scary and she was chased by a turkey one time. And I kid you not, there's like five to ten seconds of just dead air. Even Lauren was like, what the fuck? <laughs> um but I'll I'll be fair and say this. Hanno's initial brought in thing was to be the not a Lauren advocate, not a Heyman type, if you will. Uh but to at least play to him so that like if there was an argument, say Will and MJ are drilling Lauren with stuff he's done, Lauren could respond and then Hannah could agree. It wasn't for Hannah to plow over everyone and defend Lauren, if that makes sense. I think it would, it would be obvious, but I guess I'm wrong, you know? That, that's what it became. It was Will trying to talk to Lauren, and she would answer for Lauren and just be like, is that right, Lauren? And Lauren just being like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. The trailer chief, acknowledge him. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, Adam says, Casey is my favorite troll. Sheffrey is my favorite Lauren Call of all time. Happy for us. Thank you so much, Adam. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. So um, special. Also, Face to Face donated and said, Can you book Lauren versus Roscoe in a dog collar match with the stipulation of the loser being tied to a treadmill? Now, if the game could do that, it would get perfect ratings from me, and I would only play that game. Does the AEW game have dog collar matches? No, surprisingly enough. I thought that what? would be one. But they might add it at... Um, They've already talked about they're adding shit over time. They're adding a battle royale mode. Well, I'll buy it when they release the dog collar match. Hell yeah. Anyways, so that's the Hannah story, guys. Um, 
And now everyone forget about it. Now everyone pretend we'll you never heard this. <laughs> anyone on the replay, you never heard it. You never, you heard, never this. heard it. Don't ask questions about it. We're you, not going to answer you're them. You're getting hit with the, the Men in Black Neuralizer <laughs> thing. No one remembers this. Exactly, exactly honey daddy. daddy. See? Boom. All right. Hannah Born. ADD, if you like fighting games, uh, I'd go with Street Fighter. AEW plays like a classic N64 wrestling game. So if you if you want some nostalgia, it's, it's the way to go. You said um, it plays like No Mercy, right? On the N64? Yeah, for, for the most part. You know, light, strong grapples, light, strong kicks. Uh, stamina bars the exact same. You can hit signature and then cheer and get a finisher. All right, guys, we'll stop talking about wrestling here in a second. <laughs> Yeah, we really got derailed here. Yeah, it, it's the Hannah thing. Um, the Hannah paradox. Who's Hannah? I accept full responsibility for that. That's okay. That's all right. I'm going to um, be scolded after this, guys. Pee Wee, thank you. Hi, I'm new here. and I, Yeah, I'm new here. Uh, Pee Wee, I'm standing in your chat room next to you, um, and I don't even know where I am. <laughs> Tom, Tom wants thoughts on CM Punk. Uh... Do you want to give your thoughts on CM Punk, and then we will. That is. The you already, last you already know play. I love C. You already know I love CM Punk. I know, but he wants to know. That's my opinion. I like him. I think he's a good worker. He's good for the company. I think what he did at Brawl Out was very stupid. And um, I'm a fan of anyone who stirs the pot. You're what? I like anyone who who causes a lot of drama. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, I mean, it got people talking. I just, I just think you want to shit talk a company you're in. And that's the wrestle break. Uh, hold on, I got um, something for that. Do you have any final thoughts on CM Punk before we we move on? No. Oh shit, where is it? No, I had a clip for this too. This is gonna play over and over again. I'll, I'll come back. Oh, there it is. Here we go. Uh, hold on, I gotta open it something else or I'm gonna fuck up the... No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Sorry guys, this is so not worth it. It's gonna it's gonna be dumb the second it happens and you're all gonna say why did we wait for this? Play, please. Hello? Support Wrestle Talk! There you go. Um Blue Boy, you didn't get to hear it, but it just said support wrestle talk. Alright, let's get back to the call. I'm new here. But that's not gonna happen. Not in Another reason I don't want it to happen is because I, I want to make sure nothing happens to make you question anything. See, honey daddy, I knew it. What? It's almost like you're... I would like to be able to be friends with Maggie Jo. I would like for me and her to be able to Sorry, just one-on-one -on -one, talk with each other. Oh, I love OSW. I don't... The last part was I don't dare to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with Maggie Jo. No, that's why I don't want to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with her. I don't want that popping in your head. I don't want a shot with Maggie Jo. I don't have feelings for Maggie Jo. You let me know you're playing Octopushy. I know you don't have a shot with her. I'm not jealous like you. I don't care if I have a shot with her or not. I don't want a shot with her. I just wanted us to be able to try to be friends. Then why did you mention it? <laughs> Sweet pea. I didn't mention any shot. You mentioned the shot. I didn't say nothing about a shot. No, I didn't not. I said I wanted to have a one on. Yes, That's did. why I didn't want to have Amy. Let me talk. You're putting words in my mouth. A momo. That's why I don't want to have a one-on-one -on -one talk you with her. You didn't want to be worried about something. I didn't want you to worry about anything and think that that's what I was trying to do. Because I don't want any shot with her. Right, because you think you have a shot. Jamie, I respect people. When they're, when they're engaged, She's someone else... She's back off. <laughs> you, better, you better stop that bullshit. <laughs> that that bullshit's gonna push me away. Well, if someone said that to me, it'd be over. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if you don't knock that off, we're gonna have issues. 
And it's not that he's going to leave. It's going to push him away. They're still going to be together, though. Your actions don't push me away. Hmm. Maybe they do, but um, uh, do my actions really count towards you, uh, or compared to what you tell me that you're in love with someone? Well. Unbelievable. Have you thought about, have you thought about that at all, Jamie? How much that hurt me? Lewis Mark donated and said, you guys are the best. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't know if best is, is the right for, name for it. I mean, we just talked about wrestling. Am I right, Blue Boy? <laughs> yeah. That really... Uh, we went off on wrestling for a while. We went on for, off on Hannah for far too long. Far too long, yeah. you got to realize it's not just one person. You want me to be honest or not? You don't answer my questions, Jamie. James is not on the roster yet. Okay, sorry, guys. One more wrestle talk. Don't worry. There's a fair amount of call left here. Um, I will tell you who isn't on the roster that I have on my list so you guys can know. We'll start with uh, James. James, Alton, Bryce, Todd, Carter, Eric, Sexboy, Judge Woodcock, Victor. Uh, and that's it. Females. We got MJ, Amanda James, Vanessa Anley Parker, and Nathaniel Lett. Female Alex, Stacy, Allie, Wendy, Texas Girl. Possibly Ilmo. Yes, I want you to be honest. Look what you do. That's what I was thinking, viral effects, something like that. I know what um, what I've done hasn't hasn't been right. You throw I'm, I'm shit in my face it. the second you can. Emma's not in yet. Jamie, you just said to me, back off, she's mine. Uh, happy chappy donated and said, was there any moment during a call where Gorn almost made uh, you break character? That ever happened to you, blue boy? Mm, no. Um, the robot hung up a few times because they were on the verge, and... I mean, Casey broke the robot a couple of times, but yeah, there's been a Yo, few. Oh yeah, there was times like that where like you and I would make each other laugh during the throuple stuff. Yeah, it, with with Lauren and the and the robot itself, there there were a few times, but I cannot remember what it was. It'd be something really dumb he would say, um, but that's about it. Thank you. You said that to me. Oh, well, dude. She Be is honest, not Jamie, yours. So I have more ammunition. <laughs> she is not yours. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? She will because always I'm starting, be mine. I'm starting to believe that that's the only reason that you want to be in Nashville. Um, I think he knows that they're, they're two separate people now. I don't know, though. I've told you it isn't dummy. Uh, you've told me that, but you're not proving it. How many times? You're not proving it, Jamie. You're down there to get better. You're not down there to Say be it in again love with Maggie Joe. Say you can enjoy your life alone. What? Say what again? <laughs> How about that? Say what again? Enjoy hey, my life alone? You know what? Don't play stupid. What, that you're down there to get better? That you're down there to get better? Uh, say that? Or say what? Is that what he said? Tell me what, what it is that you don't want me to say. All right, that was the truth. That was the truth. You know exactly I double what I'm saying. No, I want you to tell me. Stop playing stupid. Damn. I'm not playing stupid, Jamie. You are, though, because you know exactly stupid. what she's talking about. Right. When you're telling me back off, she's mine? That's going to irritate the fuck out of me. Not what I said <laughs> it to. She's not yours. She's John Michaels. Not yours. Deflections.
you need you need to start realizing that and come to terms with it. Because because that, that that's what did that's I one say thing that that, that that's one thing that fucks us up. What that's one I big thing that, that fucks us up. Huh? Oh, well, Ten Mile Massacre is a way better name than Ten Mile Yard Sale. Stop rambling about your bullshit. None of that is bullshit, Jamie. I've told you already before that you need to get over her. You need what to not be I in love with her. You asked you, you ask me, what how do you do that? Repeat? I don't know. I tried to get you to tell me. With a football game? I'm even lost at this point. You must be stupid then. Holy fucking Christ. <laughs> Holy fucking Christ. I told you before you need to fall out of love with her. Why you even asked me what? You even you need to, me how you to need do to that? Why why right now? I, I, <laughs> could you imagine dating someone and saying that? Listen, like, okay. If you some want. of us can't switch it off, Lauren. Like you can. Right. You're a lizard person with no real feelings. Listen, you need, you need to get grip and you need to fall out of love with her. Okay. You're with me. <laughs> <laughs> I told you before. You need to fall out of love with her. Why am you I even asked me. Oh. You even asked me how to do that. Why am I in Nashville? I, That's what it was. Yeah, she's in Nashville to get better. I didn't know. If Lauren you're, you're, thinks mm -hmm. that you can fall out of love with people willingly, why doesn't he just do that with Jamie? That's a great question. Because he's always saying, like, when you're ever, like, you know, like, then leave Lauren. He's like, I can't because I'm already in love with you. Maybe it's because there's like, no but, one else to love. Yeah, but if you have the power, like, it would be way less stressful to mm -hmm. just make yourself fall out of love with her i i agree but it's only if there's another prospect to fall in love with he doesn't he won't be alone he doesn't want that yeah he but he, if if uh like if casey were around he could fall out of love with jamie like that well maybe not he, he says that he didn't with jamie but he's a liar so tulip can nation I didn't know why you're, you're you're supposed to be in Nashville to get better. Not because you want to be around man. Maggie Joe. Huh? That is why Excuse she's you. Excuse me, what, Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> why am I here? You have one last try. You you can stop pushing fucking buttons. Don't tell me I'll spend my life alone, because I won't. Uh, you sure about that? <laughs> well, maybe not now, but... <laughs> yeah, now say, now we have those, uh... This is what those I lovely do with Canadians. you can handle yeah. it for a few minutes. Not when you tell me that I'll spend my life alone. I don't want to believe that Maggie Joe is the reason you're there. you better not fucking say it again, huh? <laughs> well, you better fucking do something different, Jamie. Every time you turn around now, you tell me you're in love with Maggie Joe. Everything's about so Maggie Joe. am I in Nashville? You're in Nashville to get better. To get better, Jamie. To, to get better. How has that worked so far? You say otherwise. Lauren, you're in that class to get better. How's that gone so far? I will never speak to you again. Ooh. Well, Ooh. I'm doing something different. Got it. I got it. But you better start doing something different, Jamie. You better start doing something different, Jamie. Jamie. I told you before you need to fall. <laughs> no, I told you before you need to fall out of love with her. You Shut asked me how. Up. I gave you a couple ways to do it. You're still not trying. He gave how? Shut what up. were the ways? Do you remember? You're not gonna put it on me. Uh, for her to to what? Sorry. He just said I gave you a couple ways to fall out in love with her. Uh, to not do movies with her anymore. Um, to not be around her anymore. I I'm just guessing here. They live in. Okay, I was say they live in the same house, so that's yeah. kind of impossible. You stay on one in one bedroom on one side of the house, and she stays in another bedroom, and that's it. You know, yeah, you, you know. put a tape, a chalk line down the center, 
yeah. of the house of, her, of that Maggie neither Joe's you can house. cross. <laughs> Get a big bed sheet and run it half <laughs> down the middle. <laughs> Shut up. You're not going to put it on me about being in love with her. Gorilla, uh, Gorilla Face Gwen Donian said he loved Winnie after everything still and had to help her. The dude is a walking contradiction. Um, it was... It was suits him, not anyone else. I love you so fucking much. That's true. Um, he was cheating on Winnie actively with one, her daughter, and then two, her sister, but didn't want to tell her because reasons. Just to keep her on the hook, I guess? What do you think, Blue Boy? Yeah, to keep her on the hook. Yeah. Just a bench warmer. He likes bench warmers a lot. I've been sitting in my room alone for weeks. Shut up, selfish, self-centered, insecure little man. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, it took the doctor telling you. Shut up. Why tell me shut up, Jamie? I just told you the truth. It took the doctor telling you that you need to stay home. You okay, Grove List, man? Thank you. Appreciate it. We got the point. I won't throw shit in your face anymore, Jamie. I'm not trying to throw shit in your face. I'm not trying to throw shit in your face, Jamie. I feel like he is. That last did I want. I want you to get better so that we can be together. I'm frustrated. Frustrated? I'm in. I'm in love with you, and I fucking try to do everything I can to spend time with you, you know and to fucking. Right. I know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> but when I feel like you don't want to spend time with me. It makes me insecure. God, it's all about you. Yeah, whose problem is that, really? Jamie, I try to make it all about you. No, you don't. But it's like every time I, every time I turn around, I can't. I'm doing something wrong. Every time I turn around. When? How have I been doing this house up? Oh God. Like you wanna. How about our new house? When you yell Doing at that because the video games. Is that for me? No, it's not it's not for you. Exactly. That's for me because I miss you. Me missing you is telling you something. I want pink walls, where are those, mister? I'm doing you this for you. Uh, to see if, if that were the case if that like if if Lauren were were the one trolling Jamie and will for ages who looks dumber in the in the scenario Lauren for crying and yelling and taking dick photos to troll <laughs> or uh, Jamie and will you know I mean I didn't understand, understand what you just I don't know one exactly shut up I would love to hear him kind of like pitch it that way. I would love to hear that pitch. It'd be hilarious. I, I said I didn't understand what you just said on that one. That's a good way of putting it. Viral effects. More time. You were doing the house anyway. Stop acting like it's the grand gesture to me. <laughs> yeah. More flex my butt cheeks. Jamie, when I asked you how you wanted to do a new house, what did you tell me? Oh. God, that's not the point, you fucking idiot. Didn't you promise Will's ex-wife a closet? Oh. What the hell's that got to do with anything? Who the hell's talking about her? Now I feel so special. Oh, I feel so special. When I asked you how you wanted me to do the house, it was one floor for me, one floor for you, and one floor for Will. Oh my god. I would love to see Lauren build a three-story house. Oh, uh, it would collapse after the first It's floor. almost like you were going to do it anyway, right? I, again, I know I've explained this on stream before, but this was said one time, the three-floor things, one time as a joke. It was explained to him over and over again it's a joke, but he will bring it up every time he can. How far back in the past you going, Jamie? Great answer. 
Yeah, that doesn't matter, Lauren. The point is you were building the closet already for someone else. That's the point, exactly. It, for him to sit there and be like, Because why well, am I building the house the way that you want it, Jamie? Huh? It's like, well, it wouldn't matter because you already started the closet before she was around. You fucking... <laughs> <clears throat> I never went shopping with her. I oh. never asked her what she wanted. Oh Whatever you say. It's the best he's got. He never That's asked Winnie what she wanted. He never oh, went shopping with, with Winnie, Shop I guess. Which I don't I can't think, think of any... I was like, I can't think of any specific examples, but there's no way he's never... Right. ...asked Winnie what she wanted. Well... I know for a fact he was going to put uh, a window in the closet so she could sell drugs out of it, you know. Um, but outside of that, I don't, I don't know of any shopping plans they had. But again, shopping over the phone, that's a big thing. I feel like this is one of those times where, like, when Lauren said a big secret of his was he cooms in the toilet, and that was supposed to be some super close thing that they had. No, I didn't. It's not a lie. I never asked her how she wanted to what she wanted for her closet, what how she wanted it, and Window what light she wanted. I might have been, I, don't, I don't think I even said a, I don't think I said a <laughs> window in the closet. You sure did, bud. You did. You did. You do. I don't even know. I don't even remember you know now. She asked for really? Now he doesn't remember. To do it. Right. Of course. Why would he? Well, yeah, I don't remember it. Sure. Obviously, I. Hadn't... It's easier to forget. Obviously, I don't even fucking think about her. If you never asked her... Jamie, you, you realize that you her. and I... Jamie, you realize that you and I have been together for ten months now, right? I don't... I don't... See you know, how you I, I don't think about her hardly ever. Uh, real quick, well, there's a break in the thing. Um, I forgot something about Hannah, but you guys never heard this. Let's just get this out of there, too. Hannah stated behind the scenes that they were going to get more information out of Lauren than anyone had before, and they were going to get the real Molly story. Um, oh, yes, they were very confident. They were going to have that big of an impact on Lauren. Now, when Hannah disappeared, Lauren asked one time, maybe a couple of days after the last time he talked to her, where she was, and then completely forgot she existed. The George Glass. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you never heard any of that. Uh, Neuralizer. I think about you constantly. Look, Jamie. Look, Jamie, how's drove? How what? Okay, uh. Dr. Armstrong. Is. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely not coming up on here. It's definitely go not going up on Heelborn. I am very concerned that it will get a, a flag or something. I don't know. Uh, I'll try and figure out something for it, but... Look, Jamie, how special you are. I've only done this with you. Oh, wait, never mind. I just forgot. NCA, there's, there's no dump. I have no plan on making one. Uh, I think that the calls all, when they go out, have all the texts and photos and stuff. I don't, I don't feel there needs to be one. Possibly one for the photos at some point. Um, but again, there'd be nothing outside of what's already in the calls. Sorry. I never planned on building a new house. I mean, the dump was originally just to get Betty her money back, pretty much, you know, from Lauren. Uh, that was that was the whole point of it. Dave Meltzer is Hannah. Oh, God. Uh, and, you know, uh, uh, it's a call, and uh, it was there. They were on the phone. That's why I decided to turn in, this into Great our business. This is, that's why I decided to turn this house into our place for business. Great deflection. Jamie, nothing about me has anything to do with her. Yeah. Everything about me is to do with you now. Oh, God, shut up, Lauren. Um, 
I'll, I'll figure out a way with Dr. Armstrong. I mean, there's a, I mean, not that everyone will know, but OGs will know there's still another channel. Uh, seeing the dance is still around, so maybe up on that. That's not the coin dummy. Dr. Armstrong is disgusting. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's more disgusting, him drinking Brusty Juice or Dr. Armstrong? Dr. Armstrong by far. <laughs> The point is, I when I was with her, I had already planned on building a closet. Yeah, was it because of her? No, because I needed no. a closet. Because you said you didn't have her pick stuff out. I don't think I had her pick a, a window out. I didn't even have the closet built. You did. I, I was with you when I built the closet. Don't, Jamie, don't do that. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go for the night okay. because I'm, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I love you. Good night. The window, yeah, I remember that. Oh, baby boy. Yeah. Yeah, she said something about one of them's gonna put a window in for her. Is that it? Cool. Can I have my phone soon? Alright, bye. Thanks, Will. I'm getting off the phone for the night. Bye. Still there, 87. <laughs> Alright, well, and Lauren said he was, he was done with being on the phone. He didn't want to talk to Will, so he hung up. I'm not... He's done. So that's the end of this call, right? That's it. I didn't hang up. Hello, Coward will just confirm she <laughs> asked you for a window. I didn't hang up, by the way. Okay, I'm rewinding real quick. I just... Yeah, she said something about... Wait, hold on. Right here? What's up? I love you. Good night. A window? Yeah. I'm gonna go for the night okay. because I'm not... What's up? I love you. Good night. Oh. And then... And then this. I didn't hang up. Hello, Coward will just confirm she asked you for a window. I didn't hang up, by the way. That was my service that went on. Right. Weird. Show sure, Lord. Right after oh, he says you. he's going. Yeah, right after he says, I'm, I'm getting off the phone. Good night. I love you. Good night. That was my service, by the way. I was answering what you said because I had already heard you say hello, coward. Coward. I'm getting off the phone tonight. Good night. By the way, Jamie. That was you. She didn't pick. She didn't pick out the window. Ugh. You picked out the window. <laughs> Are you listening, stupid? Oh my god. Well, you wanted to get Will involved. That happens way too much. Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening to you. All right, Jamie, what do you got? What was the story I just told? Hmm. You called me coward, <laughs> and that will just confirm that she been What is the point of this whole thing? The point is you want to be right about her fucking, me putting the fucking window in for her. When I don't remember because I don't even think about her. I know it wasn't her that picked out the window. I didn't it ask her, her to pick stuff out for the closet, Jamie. She asked for a window. No, she didn't. We'll come in here. Get it yet? Well, it, yeah, I get it. I didn't remember that she asked for a window. I'm sorry you. I was wrong about that. No, I'm sorry I was wrong about that. I forgot. I don't I still don't even remember it. Go figure. But really I don't care about it. It wasn't her that picked out the window. Uh, I don't think about her, Jamie. It's not the point. 
Right, you don't care, but you said it didn't happen. Well, I didn't remember. I didn't remember that it happened. Why would I leave that in my memory? Especially when you want me to forget about her anyway. Anyways, I have more business opportunities. Ooh. You gonna tell me what they are? Well, apparently Rod and Todd know each other and Todd is now asking to pay me to make a movie. <laughs> I'm calling it a girlfriend window. Oh, oh god. <sighs> That's a good one, Chance. You've heard him yell about this before about, and, now, and Todd's got a business deal. That's this. <laughs> I'm not skipping. It's weird forward. how this happens. <laughs> What'd you say? So it's so weird how this happens like this. A guy named Rod knows a guy named Todd. They went to school together, and now they both want to have sex with Jamie for money. On film. That seems like everyday kind of stuff to me. I don't know about you. Yeah. I'm, I'm not skipping the silences in this part, just because you can hear Lauren going, <sighs> Todd should tell him that he's new here. He doesn't want to offend anyone. He's not judging. I might be able to do one movie with the both of them, but get paid less. Hmm. Not happening. Wait. <laughs> yes. She would do. She would do movies with both, and that would pay less. Is that what she just said? She says, "Okay, so she could do a movie with Rod and a movie with Todd, and she'd get a certain amount of money. Or she could do a movie with Rod and Todd, and she would get paid less because it's, you know." Oh, because it's like, it, yeah, I get you. Yeah, instead of two movies for a set price, it's one movie for a set price. Let's see how Lorne negotiates uh, Jamie's contract, shall we? You're not getting paid less. Oh, okay. Guess she gets to fuck them both. That, uh, uh unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, getting paid less. Todd needs to get added to the roster. Lauren? What's wrong? Can I get off the phone for the night and just sleep on this? No. <laughs> Sleep on what, Lauren? It's not your decision. Yeah, you you have no say in this, bro. Are you gonna be fucking Rod and Todd? <laughs> Are you getting any of this money? No. All right, hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take my headset off. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Oh, baby boy. You wanted to talk. Here it is. Baby boy. Hello. This happens every time work's, uh, work happens. It's brought up. I'm gonna take my lens on. Hello. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> Is he trying to make himself cry? Or even... I don't know, but it's still funny. Yeah. Either way. <laughs> like, it's your job, dude. Just break up with her, dude. It's not worth it at this point. It's like a baby. Sound off in the chat. Why is your headset off? Just keep it on. Is it is it one for fake crying, two for real crying, three for a bit of both? Eighty-seven for Lauren sucks. It's the whimpering that I think is is fake. <laughs> that. When yeah. He, when he squeaks, some of those have got to be real. Because like, it, it sounds like he's not even meaning for that well, noise to escape. Him. Who, who legitimately whimpers? Like that sounds like. <laughs> True. I, I just feel like that's not real. Like the blow my nose. Hang on. He's got to blow his nose. I mean, I'm no expert. Do you have to blow your nose immediately after crying? They do in cartoons, so that's what Lauren <laughs> is gonna do. I saw it on the Looney Tunes. I've seen it. Yeah, the stream's staying up. Uh, missed the cast. 
Do you have, do you know anyone who cries this much? No, dude. It's insane how much this dude turns it on. Paul with a big right hand. I'm not skipping through this just so you guys can hear whimpering and... and... How do those two know each other? That's an excellent question, Blue Boy. <laughs> right, that's... Finally, he asked a question that's like... A, a real good one to ask. Why do guys with rhyming names know each other? <laughs> know each other? <laughs> you wanted to talk, here it is. This is what happens. I shouldn't tell you stuff that's clear to me now. I should have trusted my gut. Hmm. You know what, Chupa Grandson? I thought they were brothers, too. It's weird. And I was there. <laughs> yeah, no, they're just different different dudes. I think they went to school together. I think she'll explain it here in a second. So not telling me what would be doing it behind my back. What? You'd be better off telling me. Not telling me is doing it behind my back? I don't well, know. Well, fine, then I will lay this one on you. Oh. Ho, oh. ho. <laughs> they met at Aqua Glaze. <laughs> they met at Aqua Glaze. <laughs> uh, Shins, that's a great question. I don't know if, if they had ever done the tissue thing. He, cries more than he can take his headset off to blow his nose, but not when he's going pee. Right, he'll just piss and not wash his hands, and that's fine to hear, but I gotta blow my nose. I think it is a wise business decision to make a movie with Will. It will boost sales of Will Go. <laughs> no. Listen, we're talking about Rod and Todd, but I think Will and I should make a movie. <laughs> well, Lauren wants to be here for the. He, Lauren wants the business talk. Can't do behind his back. That's right. Listen, me and Will need to get it done so that we can sell these Will Does. That's it. That's the end of the discussion. Jamie's got no follow-up. Lauren just said no. It's not even a thought, Jamie. Oh, yeah. He's not crying anymore. He's mad. And that skank terrible that... can deal with it. <laughs> that skank that terrible. No. <laughs> uh, for those that don't yeah, know... Yeah, those tears. Go ahead. Sorry. No, go ahead. Those are the tears just go instantly. Yeah, like you can right hear, you can hear the like not rage but anger. It went to anger immediately, and he's like, "No." Yeah, how do you go from whimpering one second to just? It doesn't sound like he's been crying at all. Yeah, it's nuts. Uh, for those that don't know, Will at this point in time has a girlfriend named Tara Bell, um, and Jamie calls her terrible, and Lauren doesn't like that. It's not even a thought. I'm not asking permission. Ooh. Um, if you do it, then I leave. Okay, bye. I told you what is too personal. Can't be personal, can't be with strangers. It's bad enough that you went online, met these two guys. Okay. And I'm wanting to do a movie with them. It okay. Let's walk through that, blue boy. Can't do it with Will because it's too personal, right? Got it. Okay. And then so she nobody has the, too personal. Right. Then she has the audacity to them. talk to strangers online to to do a movie with them. Okay, so you so you can't do strangers and it can't be someone who's too personal. Right. So what can Who she does that leave? Herself. Um, and that's it. Um, this what about is an, an acquaintance? Go ahead. An acquaintance, maybe? Maybe. Uh, this is an unexpected Monday afternoon delight. Thanks, lads. Uh, where can I buy a Wildo? 
check the shop, I guess. I don't know. Um, thank you. Uh, I'll put Weldo on a shirt. No, hey, I don't... Mm, I don't know if Teespring will print that out, though. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, Poison Rana. Okay, so no no friends, no strangers. You have a career in porn. Good luck. It's bad enough that I, that I agreed to John Michael. It's too personal. I don't know the other guys. There's always a reason. Jamie, it's bad enough that I agreed to John Michael. What? I'm not agreeing to Will. It's bad enough. And I am telling you, if you do it with Will, I it's will not leave. It's bad enough. It's my fucking job. Hmm. Well, your fucking job, when it comes to Will, is involving me, and it's personal. <laughs> what? If you do it with Will, no, I am not. telling you, I am telling you, I will leave. It's not personal. It is personal. To me, it is personal. George Glass. And I'm telling you. You don't have to have sex with Will. If you do right. it. It's not business. You not have. If you do it, you will not have me. It's not business. Um, Arnold is on the list, I think. And his, his, his stepmom has not been put on the list, but I could probably make her. Is he going to lose her? Blue boy? I, I think he's going to lose him. Or, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's the correct way of saying it. I apologize. I'm telling you, Jamie, if you do it, you will not have me. Oh, no. There will be no way you More fucking money missed out for Lorne's feelings. There could be Yancey shirts coming. Uh, I think that's in the pipeline, right, Blue Boy? All, every idea you guys want, I'll make into a t-shirt. <laughs> Something Jamie needs to I can list as many as I want for free on there. It doesn't matter. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's all we ever fucking talk about. Really? Really? Really, Jamie? Really? I was going to think of something else they talked about. He's already been balls deep. It's nothing new. Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell. Gaming? <laughs> He's already been balls deep. <laughs> oh my god. You're talking like it's nothing. It is something. I've already told you what's going to happen oh if you do it. He doesn't have COVID. I know him. He won't mistreat me. It will boost sales. Win, 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 win. She's got a point. That's a good business opportunity. Jamie. Jamie. I'm not discussing it any further. If you do it, I leave. Checks all the boxes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you do it, I leave. Yeah, you this isn't that a discussion. Behind... If you do it behind my back, it means this a lot. This is a discussion. Me. No, it's not a discussion, because if you do it, you don't have me. Oh, no. I just won't tell you. <laughs> which means you're lying to me. It solves all the problems. Which means exactly, Will will be lying to me. Well, see, because in Lauren's book, if you don't tell someone something, it's not lying. He just didn't tell him. Right. Oh, my God, that catch. <laughs> Jesus. We all get a four-footer story. And if you think that I'll never find out, you'd be completely wrong. You would. If I did find out, and when I did find out, I will leave. Oh, no. Okay, we'll cross the bridge when we come to it then. Yeah. <laughs> that, that bridge is already soaked in gasoline. It's not a big, <laughs> big deal. <laughs> Just wait for a spark. You failed to be taking me seriously on this. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Your mind's made up, you're gonna fuck Will? He's using his serious voice when he talks real low. Yeah. I need money. Really? Well, the money needs, means more to you than the, than I mean to you. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 
Mr. I will take care of you. How's that going so far? <laughs> How the fuck am I gonna take care of you, Jamie? You're not here. Uh, you need to have be established. And it's your choice not to be here. You have no money. You have negative money. How are you gonna take care of it? Yeah, I you're smoking cigarettes. Your yeah. Money and food. yeah. Just huffing Siggy's and drowning in debt. I mean, he's at the point where he can't even pay his taxes on his property, which are like $600. It's not a lot of money for someone working, you know, for a year. I don't know. It's insane. Don't even try to fucking put me down. That, that's not happening. You don't have a job. Doesn't mean it's not happening, Jay. It doesn't mean I'm not bringing in money. So you don't have money. Jamie. What money are you bringing in? I, I've yet to see you make a move towards coming what up here. What money are you bringing in? He was here, and you, uh, you wouldn't have to worry about it. I'd be bringing in more money. Where? That would be for me to worry about. From what? No, yeah, wait, what are you, where are you That would be for money? me to worry about. Oh. It'd also be for her to worry about because she doesn't. If she goes up there, she has no job and it's right. dependent on you. But I've yet to see you make me you know, coming up here. When neither of you have jobs when she gets there. And when Lauren says, as for me to figure out, it means he has nothing lined up. I have yet to see you make a move to take care of me. Well, get your ass up here, Jamie. That's not how it works, stupid. Why? Well, if you want to be with me, why wouldn't you? You don't have money or a job. You don't think I can bring in money? I can bring in money, Jamie. No. You're not, and you're still not. <laughs> to this By day. By working. If you was here, if you was here, I'd do anything I could to get money. If you was here, I'd do anything I could, yeah. legally, to get money. Why can't you do it before she gets there? You're my number one priority. It means you you're even before me. Didn't I say you even needed to have out. a job and be established? But he's smoking cigarettes, so he, she's not before him. Jamie, I'm right, trying exactly. you can't blame right. COVID on me. When did she do that? Bro. The date of this call is December first, twenty twenty. You could have gotten a job by now. It's almost been a year since he's been released, and he still hasn't had one. Um, and he's blaming COVID on that, which I I don't I'm not exactly sure when it all kind of got lifted, but I'm sure at this point in time in that year, people were hiring. I mean, people were hiring from the beginning, but that's insane to me. You didn't try to find a job, Lorn. You admitted to it. I even tried to protect you when you were out in Washington when Will told me that you had that he had COVID. Glad you guys are in nice and I, you know, I, Great and and I told wrestling. you to you stay away. You didn't try to find a job, Lorne. You admitted to it. I did try to find a job. I'm still no, trying to find a job. I had even my counselor today asked me about the disposal job, and I told them. What? Because of the class. Truck drivers are they, essential. They they're essential, but when I can't go out of state, Jamie... COVID isn't to blame. When I can't go out of state, there's nothing I can do about that. I can't even get a job right now driving a truck from the, for the woods. Always an excuse. Because everything, everything so... I know, Maybe but it's only Maybe outside of driving right? truck, you know? Like, God forbid you go look somewhere for a job outside of a stupid truck. Like... Blue Boy, if you if someone was like, hey, listen, I'll move up there and I'll be with you, but all you need is a job. Would you be looking everywhere you can for a job, or would you be like, I can only do trucking? Um, if that sexy model woman was like, hey, Blue Boy, I'll come be with you, but you need to do this, this, and this, mm -hmm. I'm doing it. Right. That's what you would think, but apparently... Especially if it looked like Lauren? Yeah, if I was looking like Lauren, well, I mean... If they talk chicks, like, yeah. yeah, I'll come be with you, but you gotta do things that you should already be doing anyways. <laughs> things that functioning adults not, should have. <laughs> yeah, she's not, she's not asking them to do things that aren't outside of things normal people already did. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. 
God. It's just insane. Sometimes, I, I get it, sometimes, sometimes it's hard to believe this man exists, you know? Like, how the fuck is this man surviving and still alive? Shin, Shin, that's a good point, except for probation gave him places to work. There was that convenience store job that he said no to, that he said he couldn't work at because of kids, but probation was the one that recommended it to him. Right. Which is very weird. Well, and I, I um, like to, I'd like to point out, oh, sorry, finish your thought and I'll say mine. No, no, no go ahead. I, I, I was just gonna, no, no, no. I was just going to say that um, the, I, I think that his whole kids being there thing isn't probation. It's just his own mind, you know? Because they're offering No, jobs. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they were the ones who said he can work at the gas station. Yeah. And he said, no, I can't because kids might come in. Right. Like. Yeah, it's insane. I know, but it's only Lauren that has the excuse, right? It's, it's not the millions of people that are across the United States that are you know, losing their jobs again. Oh, dear God. Because the only two you said states you were going in the United States. to look for a job, but you've done nothing. Jamie, I've, I've been doing things. I'm not sitting on my ass. Yeah, that's right, Shin, but unfortunately, you know he is, things, right? you know, that's just what he has to do. I'm tearing down all trying him, to sell things out of there. Like I'm trying a, to get this place better for when you're here. like a custodial job. I'm going and doing work for Mila. What's the income for that? I'm, I'm get, uh, getting the business guys to try to get the business going so we can bring in money. I'm far from sitting on my ass, Jamie. Uh, that's a lie as well. Oh yeah, his um, um, he's starting a business. The first thing he did was order, like, five thousand business cards for Boo and Bear Septic Service. Yes. Don't, you know, don't establish, don't get the equipment first or anything. No, no, no. Get the business cards. Don't have an LLC or anything to. Don't make sure you can have you this know. business. Just start it, you know? Yeah. In the sound of that. Um, yeah, it's just, he's always, he always like starts in the wrong place, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make a closet. I'm going to start by going to the dump well it's he does the easiest stuff first and then gives up when he has to put real work in true yeah no, that's a good point if you were here i would get a job flipping burgers house. if i had zero dollars you working on the house negative dollars where's the income great point if you were here i would get a job oh flipping Dead burgers if house. i had to zero dollars you working on the house Negative dollars. Where's the income? Here's the income. I can That's get other jobs. Have one. I can get other jobs besides Milo. Then why don't you I'm have one? Hard to do now. Harder to do now. Because they got the business cards exactly out. So I'm now. trying to get them out there. Jamie, if you were here, I would get a job flipping burgers I said, if I had to. Why aren't you doing it now? You, you don't want to hear what I say. You interrupt me every I fucking said, time I say something because you don't want to hear it. All you want to do is think up a reason to not be here. I'm looking for a job now. I mean harder now. Jamie, you're looking for a reason to not be here. I said. She gave you requirements to fulfill for her to come up there. You haven't done it. That's on you, not her. I don't need a reason, Lorne. If I didn't want to, I would say it. Now what? Well, you you said that you want to be. You've said it. You've said it before, Jamie. But you haven't been here yet. Oh dear God. You're supposed to be in, in July, but because of COVID, that didn't happen, and I understood. Did you? Did you? Yeah, I understood. No, you didn't. You gonna tell me I haven't been? You gonna tell me I haven't been patient? Makes such awesome burgers. No. You're gonna tell me I haven't been patient, bitches? When thirty minutes goes by at the beginning. <laughs> right. 
And he would complain every other day that she wasn't up there yet. You need to get up here. Why aren't you up here yet? If you were here, I would get whatever job I had to get. When you're here. To make sure I had an income. Why don't you do it before she's there? Every chance you get, you mention how I should be there or I'm making excuses. <laughs> Didn't know that was patience. Oh, Jamie, it's your choice to be down there. So why can't you flip burgers now? Great question. Because I don't want to flip burgers now. You're not here yet. I don't need to worry about that right now. Oh my god. So I'll find a job that I want to try to find. And if I can't find it, then I'll then I'll start doing my own work. More of my own work. Established. I'm established already. We don't have a house payment. We don't have a car payment. Oh my god. All I need to do is get get a job. How much money you have a broken say. house and a broken truck. Right. And you can't even afford his land taxes. I mean, I know I'm repeating myself by saying oh god a bunch, but like, just the gymnastics going on right now to, to get her out there. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I can get a job where I want to have money. Can you? When? When's that happening? I don't know, Maria's stuck. Um, Platy Donated said, so he's struggling for money now. And he could look for a job if he needed to, but he hasn't been looking. So is he content with being broke? Yeah, Lauren doesn't want to do anything. He wants to he wants no. to putz around all day doing nothing, or working on his tra working in quotes rod on his trailer, um, make it look better than it ever was. There was a point where he was working for this woman. That's uh, Maria, Lauren's. Uh, old PO that lied nine times on the stand. Um, there, there's just, there's so many opportunities where Lauren could, oh, no, no, sorry, I remember what I was going to say. He was working for that woman and getting paid, and when told, you know, hey, you need to kind of tell the IRS that you're getting wages when you're on unemployment, Lauren, and he was like, I was not going to tell him. And Jamie's like, well, that's kind of fucked up, mister. I'm a good person, you know. I don't do anything wrong. And uh, that turned him into him talking to his mother and aunt, and they told him to just stop working for the woman and collect unemployment instead because I think they wanted to get paid, and they knew that they went with the woman. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Does that, does that ring a bell? Yeah, it was something like that. Yeah. Like, unemployment was paying him more than he was getting paid by the lady, so... I think he was getting paid more than he ever had at that point. I could be wrong, but yeah. he was living the high life, and he spent it all on garbage. Yeah, he has none of that money. None. Like he says right here, like, we don't have a house payment, we don't have a car payment, and yet he still, even though he collects unemployment, which is more than his paychecks were at the RC Moore and stuff, mm -hmm. and the COVID money, he still has none of it. None of it. Not a dime. Not a dime. Like, the only thing he did with that money worth a shit was paid off his land to his aunt. That's about it. Yeah. And we all know how that's going for him, so. Doesn't matter. I get a couple hundred dollars in the bank right now. <laughs> yes, it does matter. A couple hundred? How much money do you have saved? I'm not telling you. Oh. Because you'll go back and tell Maggie. He does, does he get food stamps? I don't think no. he does, but his mom gets, um... His mom food from the pantry. food pantry, and he takes food from her all the time. Yeah. He's a mooch. I'm not a mooch. Because it's zero. You don't know. I would share this stuff with you if you make Maggie egg. Joe everything. <laughs> big goose egg. I would share this stuff with you if it's you think right Maggie Joe everything. During this call, he's like, you don't know. And then later during the Casey stuff, we get his bank account information, and it's actually less than a couple hundred dollars. <laughs> right. It's like, what was it, like a dollar or something? I can't remember now. At one point, I think the most he ever had in there was like three bucks. And then he would get paid, and instantly he would go to um, his monitor, his uh, car payment, his insurance, his, you know, cigarettes. This is that same guy, Shins. Eating oil. Yeah, he spent a ton of money on cigarettes like i have my 
vices, and by that I mean Dr. Pepper Zero. Um, you know, I enjoy it, but I, you know. Yeah, yeah. I I'm drink not... enough Diet Coke to kill a full-grown horse, but I don't <laughs> think that that's, I mean, it's probably just as bad as smoking, probably, yeah. who knows. But I bet you're not spending as, as much as Lauren is on cigarettes a day. No, certainly not. So, and that's the main thing. That was the point I was trying to make, even though they're both unhealthy choices. Um. Lauren won't lie to me anymore. She's not lying to you. No. She's, I'm not going to tell you because you go back right and tell zero. Maggie Joe everything. Right at zero. I don't know, I'm not telling you because you tell Maggie Jo everything for no reason. It's nothing. Maggie Jo doesn't need to know shit about me. Actually, never mind. It's less than zero. He is buying. How how often do he buys cartons of cigarettes at sixty dollars or whatever it is? They were every two to three days. So he's dropping, <laughs> let's say, one hundred eighty bucks a week on just cigarettes. And yes, the silence is telling. Sorry, sorry, I'm just not to plow over it, but it's a lot of money on cigarettes for a guy that can't afford to pay his taxes. What's well, not possible? <laughs> you and your mother. <clears throat> I can barely breathe. I'm telling you, I have I have the the um, bank statements saved all the way back from 2017. Exactly. He buys a carton of cigarettes every two to three days. I'm not kidding you. And um, when um, Preparette went there, she said that he had like boxes in his freezer full of full of cigarettes. So I don't know if he just stocks up because he's afraid they're gonna like. He run out, out but he buy if he's not smoking them that quickly he still is buying them every two to three days i would say that he 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 probably doesn't smoke as much as we think but he smokes more than he says he says he does a pack and a half a day my bet is it's more like two two and a half a day maybe three would you say it's fair blue boy i would, he smokes two to three packs a day yeah like I'm, I'm not joking. But he always says I'm cutting back. I'm smoking a half and a pack, a pack and a half a day. And he says that to everyone. He said to Debbie, Winnie. I just said five packs a day. No, someone else said five packs. I said he purchases a, a carton every two to three days. Yeah, he didn't say smoked them in a day. He just I said, don't know how much he's smoking them out there with him, but I know he purchases a carton every two to three days. Right. And he just yeah, and he just said like. He may be putting it in his freezer as well. So, um, but still, I when he went to the doctor, they asked if he smoked, and he said yeah. And they asked him how much, and Lauren said his default answer, which is funny because he wasn't cutting back then, and he still said a pack and a half a day, which is crazy. Um, and even with that as a response, the nurse said something like a pack and a half, and he goes, "Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to quit," but. I guaranteed, like you said, two to three a day. And not just that. So he's buying. He was buying two to three um, cartons, or sorry, he was buying a carton every two to three days. There was also times he was just buying single packs from like Walmart or the grocery or some other grocery store. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he's chain smoking. Yeah, I don't think he stops. I mean, especially in this time frame when he's unemployed and doing nothing around the house all day, it is. A cigarette in one hand and a cup of coffee in the other, and that's all he does all day is just smoke and drink coffee. And then he eats, like, marshmallow peanut butter sandwiches, pies, cookies, like, just garbage. Twinkies. <laughs> I don't know how he's I don't, alive. He never – I don't think – he never takes, like, a break from smoking. He's constantly smoking throughout the day. Yeah, he just keeps going. He never drinks water either. And sometimes I think he lights them and just like holds it. Yeah. I, I remember one time he said that to Jamie, something about it. Like it just burnt out and then he sparked a new one because he had, didn't even light it. Like he didn't even smoke it. He just sat there. He's fallen asleep with them in his hands before. Yeah. That's I've, why he has like holes in his shirt all the time. 
Have I so shown... like? Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. No, so I was just gonna say like, even if he's not smoking sixty to eighty cigarettes a day, he's just wasting them. Yeah, he's wait. At the very least, he is wasting about a eight, 180 bucks a week. Yeah. On nothing. Well, not nothing, but, you know, letting him burn out in his hand. I don't know. I think some people have seen it, but I have a photo of Lauren's baby bronze shoes. He sent a photo to um, Winnie at one point when he first got them, and then he sent Jamie a photo later on, and all you, you can tell, one, he never dusts, but you can see all the cigarette ash stove ash I'll, I'll throw it up near the end if I can remember I'll just put it up now fuck it Hold on. I'll find it but it's it's gross how much ash is floating around there but it's all in the bed it's in the tub the sinks the countertops I bet everything just smells like nicotine it's gross you owe your mother five grand you owe about what four grand on credit cards and you owe the ring so negative ten grand. I don't know four grand in credit cards. Yeah, that was more. Yes, you do. That's Dan. No, I don't. How much ISN? How much is it? Not, not telling you because you go back and tell Maggie Joe. I start telling guys. you stuff like that because you go back and you tell Maggie Joe. Yeah. And Maggie Joe doesn't have any reason to know anything. <laughs> you see she had no shit? reason to know that I even owed mom money. That was for your information. It wasn't for you to, to go tell Maggie Joe. Oh, shut the fuck I was up. Being you stop that way before I was being then. honest with you. I was being honest with you. Oh, shut the fuck up. You stop that way before then. I didn't realize that you were going to go back and tell Maggie Joe shit. Okay, I'm going to go. You want to keep ignoring me? Bye. You go if you want to. Hello. Hello. I need to call you back because I don't know how long my headset's going to last. It died on me right after you hung up. I had it on the charger, so. Since then, Fine, but, enjoy your night. Well, we can talk until it dies again. I'm going out tomorrow to find a job. <laughs> I thought he wasn't looking for Whatever, there Lord. Would no reason, there would be no reasons. Whatever, Lord. You heard me right, Jamie. There would be no reasons for you not to come out. Reason. There are many reasons. He did not find. No, he never. He never he found a job. Got, he got all kinds of reasons to not That's come up. That's just one of them. Is that your reason? No. Well, your reason? I'm never gonna win because if you wanted to be with me, you, you'd be here. That was a stipulation I put in when Lorn. If you wanted to be with me, you'd the be here. The beginning. If you wanted to be with me, you'd be here. You'd, you'd stop coming up with reasons. Oh, dear God. I'm going out to find a job tomorrow. Hey, Lorne, if you wanted to be with me, you wouldn't abuse me all the time and come up with reasons. See how that works. Okay, so I stop, I stop being abusive, and you stop coming when? up with reasons to not come up. When? Now. I stop right now. Oh, we stopped right now. Donation from Gorilla Face Gwen. Uh, Lauren had that cough since speaking to Kayla. My friend was out of breath for 10 years walking upstairs. Lauren was out of breath playing with himself. Stage 3 lung cancer. After chemo, he's in remission at 65. Lauren, I would bet, has cancer like mom. I mean... You can hear when he laughs. He has that like weird like smoker's laugh. That's like... It's like a wheezing sound. Yeah. I can't replicate it, but... No, definitely. And he does that phlegm cough, too. Like, the <clears throat> like he's trying to get it out of his throat. You know? Yeah. It's disgusting. Sorry for doing the impression, guys. Um, Amy Ramirez says, so sad. So fucking sad. 
It is so fucking sad. Uh, thank you both. Appreciate it. You, you do this every stop, time, Lord. Well, stop coming up with reasons to not not be here. Holy fuck! You want to reset all the fucking time? You want to have reasons to not be here all the time? When you're here, then act like your actions have no consequences. Hey, okay, right Jamie, don't you think that your actions have consequences too? Great to see you. What I actions? I don't think I'm wrong. Your actions as you do. You don't what see actions? your actions because you don't see it. You don't see your actions, actions because it's you. I'm just gonna pause real quick. I, I would like to point out that Lauren started this call by complaining about missing half an hour of their time and has spent the entire time bitching except for that one part in the middle where he said that they needed to start start having good times and not point out everything mm. is this how you would spend your time on the phone uh no yeah it's been a waste of time <laughs> it's not like my headset's gonna last forever here you don't see that your you don't see that your actions because then it's fucking you fucking name them mm -hmm. Okay, your your actions are fucking sitting on Carter's shoulders with no panties on. <laughs> There's one. That your actions of your actions have constantly of will constantly seeing you naked. That doesn't happen. That yeah, doesn't happen anymore. It's my Your job. actions of being your it's your what? It's my job. Job. Not when you're not working, Jamie. Things gonna be a lot better. I'll quit my job. It's your reactions that I you went on the internet. I used to walk around naked all the time before I was with you, Lord. Yeah, well, you're with me now. Yeah, well. Think, things change. Yeah, well. Things change. You don't think you were, that I you didn't really think that you I was gonna. You haven't changed. You, you didn't really think that I was you gonna accept changed. another. You didn't really think that I was going to accept another guy seeing you naked constantly, did you? You haven't changed. That's right, Pee Wee. And not in that manner, I haven't. Lauren's the last person. And I'm not about to. I just showed a way of change. Huh? I just showed a way I change. Jamie, you haven't changed in that way. Yes, I have, stupid. <laughs> I used to walk around naked all the time before I was with you, Lorne. Yeah, when you lived alone. Do I do that? I think you gotta walk him through something this simple that, like, a child could understand. <laughs> do I no, do you don't that, know. Still? No, you don't. But somehow Will still sees you naked. Then I changed correct. Well... Does Will still see you naked? Oh, then I changed the red. Yeah, but did Will see you, does Will still see you naked? Name a way you change. I changed Jamie because I try to think of you. Name a way you changed. <laughs> Name a way you changed. I, I changed to... Jamie because. <laughs> because Talk I off, think man. about you? Like, holy fuck. <laughs> this is easy, I guys. I think of you. Look at Jim's wearing, rocking that new belt. That's not a change. I try, I, I try to, I try to stop yelling. That's nothing. I try to, but, that, but you um, haven't though. Right. What do you want me to do? He yelled yesterday. Not, yeah, you night. want me, you want me to not get upset. Name a way you about change. You, you want me to not get upset about you forgetting all about me because of some uh, guy on the so internet. Difficult. Thank you, Roush is my now favorite. Now we're Name back. Yeah. Tell me how now it's back so to the difficult. Beginning of this conversation. Name yeah, for you not, yeah. for you to not understand that I'm not going to change when it comes change. to. Okay, now I'm not going to change when it comes to. People are going to be losing their minds on this one. I would just like to point out that this conversation has happened many times in calls that are out. Lauren has stated over and over again, when you ask me questions, I answer them. You go around them. He has yet to name something. 
And I think that's why the robot's pushing so hard. Kind of annoying, but... I'm not going to change when it comes to you forgetting all of the, about me to talk to some guy on the internet. This was the day after Rod's to fun. This is the night of... The I'm first. not going to change in that way. Why are you going around my question, Lawn Wawa? I'm not going the around your you question. Change. I try to think of you. I try not to yell. I try not to get upset. <laughs> I try not to do the things I've done today. <laughs> wow. In this call alone. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. Cool. You do that, though. Name a way okay. you change. I don't get upset so much. I, I change in a way... You're upset right now! I change in a way that I'm, uh, that I'm... Stop doing that, Jamie. My headset doesn't have that much time left on it. On my TV. I change in a way that I'm trying to accept you as... Fucking these two fucking pieces of shit that you found on the internet. You don't know. Yeah, that sounds like you changed a Name lot right there. Change. I just named one for you. You didn't. Yeah? You tell me how I went from fucking not wanting you to talk to this these fucking two on the internet. Tell me how I went from you, you from not don't. wanting you to... You're still interrupting me. Tell me how I went from okay, not wanting you... Tell me how I went from not wanting you to talk to these guys on the internet. To, to trying to be okay to you fucking you them. You still don't. To try to be okay with it, but you're Name not. You <laughs> no, no, I don't want you to fuck them. Of course I don't want you to fuck them. Why the Name fuck the would I you want change. you to fuck them? <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I did. It's my job, you dolt. It's not your job you to go on the yet. internet. And, it's not your job to go on the internet and you find them. Yet. Name a way you change. I try to think of you, Jamie. You keep saying that, and you say you don't see it. Well... That isn't a thing. It's, it is there, Jamie. It's not my fault if you don't want to see it. That isn't an answer. It's an answer. I try to think of you. I... How have you changed? I try to think of you. Which means that... <laughs> Sometimes he doesn't, because he tries to do it. It, it. What a shit answer. How have you changed? I think of you. What is that? I think we're in last signal. How is that an answer? I'm just playing what the robot says until hang up. Your headset, die dummy. Alright. We're in the we're in the finish line, guys. I know this has been a long one, and I know it's repetitive and annoying, and I apologize, but this really shows how his brain works, so. My headset didn't die. That isn't an answer. I was hearing you still. That isn't an answer. I try to think of you, Jamie. Oh god. Everything that I do, I try to think of you. Let's go down the list. Stop trying to find faults in me. Oh, How about that part of the list? When you try to find faults in me, you're trying to find reasons to not be here. Someone asked, uh, what would we do differently? if we could have our time as Lauren's love interest over again. I'm going to be, f mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to go out there. I'm going to say I wouldn't change a thing. Um, I know that there's stuff that isn't great, but there's also amazing things that have happened. So like, I don't want to lose the amazing things just to get rid of like redundancy. If, if that's the way to put it. Yeah. I don't really think that like if he did it over, that it would change all that much. Yeah. Uh, Farmer donated said, thanks for making my workday 87% better. Uh, oh, you know what I would do? Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, no, um, I good. would get rid of Alex Jones. I would not have done <laughs> Alex Jones if I can do that over again. Would you just make him Alex, the guy? Like, Rash is stuck in I would have just made, I would have made him a random guy. A random guy. That's a, that's a good one. I mean, 
Okay, now I'm starting to think. If there was a few things that I would change. They wouldn't really be about what Jamie did, even though, like, there's points where Jamie gets into these stupid, petty arguments with Lauren just to, to argue with him, but it's just to make him miserable, and that's the point. Uh, Hannah showing up probably wouldn't have happened. <laughs> yeah, I think Hannah, we could, you know, that's a good one to get rid of. Um, this is not for the belt. Yeah. Yeah, I, I that'd probably be it. Um, but I, I, again, I know that this is like, he's, he's not answering. He's just repeating himself, but I find these interesting. I found a lot of Ramona calls interesting cause you could see how his brain works. Um, well he was drunk this, he doesn't have an excuse, but you kind of see what it would be like if someone was actually with him and had to deal with this kind of shit. Uh, and just the, the, the gymnastics in his mind to justify shit or to make himself the victim. I'm new here. Blue boy, I'm here in this stream with you, right beside you. I don't even know where <laughs> I I'm don't know the address. <laughs> Do you abuse me still? Yeah. Do you yell at me? Yeah. Do you assume shit? <laughs> yeah. Do I assume shit? Yeah, I do. Oh, well. Hannah has well, so one, My assumption last night was right, wasn't it? Well, not so change. My assumption last night was right. You confirmed it by telling me before I even assumed it. Before I even once assumed it. Once an hour. Does it matter, Jamie? Should it even happen once? Uh, you forgetting about me because uh, you want to spend time serious? with a guy from the internet? Being a half an hour late should never happen once. And then he like raises his fist to her, or, like the back of his <laughs> hand. <laughs> You forgetting about me because you want to spend time with a guy on the internet? Good Lord should that off. even should that even happen once? Rod doesn't do this shit. <laughs> oh, so you're gonna compare me with Rod, huh? I'm not playing that game. All right, guys. Legitimately, this That'll time, there you have it. It's over. Um, <laughs> that was the first of December, 2020. I know it's a uh, for some some people will not enjoy this call, and I understand why. Um, I find it fascinating, even as I get frustrated listening back. Uh, it's like but PTSD. Yeah, this call is it sets up the the next several streams worth of calls. Yes, yeah. Um, I feel like it's important to play this in order. Um, the only other time I've played stuff in order, again, it's. I know people complain about calls kind of being boring and stuff. Um, so I try to find something I think is a good listen. The only other time I did this was January of 2021. That was just to prove a point that contact was broken because there was some woman going around saying that it hadn't happened and people were believing her. Why it mattered, don't know, but the point was proven. <laughs> um, so. That this sets up the next day. Honestly, I don't even know what happens in the next day. I just know what there there are events that happen in the next couple of days that are great. Um, yeah. And this is all build up to the to those points. So uh, I hope you guys had fun. This is way longer than I normally go. Which, whatever. I guess fourth we got to celebrate. Um, Blue boy, do you have any do you have any final thoughts comments? Uh, um. Would you think no, of the call? not really. What I think of the call, I like the call. I think when we were listening to these before streaming on my, I said that the this span of calls that we're covering for this month mm -hmm. are are pretty pretty good. Um, they get better. So they so. do. Um, this Hang is, in there, everyone. Again, build up. I know. Again, I know people will not be too big of fans of this, but can't do much. <laughs> I haven't done it in a while. Uh, uh, is this is business. Is that good? I don't even know. It's been a while. It might be rusty on the it's, mark voice. It's good in the fact that it's so terrible. Well, yeah, it's a terrible voice, but <laughs> I mean. Do we get to see pictures of the ashes? What ashes? Are you talking about this? Look at business. business. Like, that's, that's what. Rod's or Rod. That's what, that's what uh, Mark said to make Lauren hate him. He just walked by and said, "Best tits in the business." That's it. 
Okay, yeah, now, I know there were some requests. Uh, I know I gotta play Mike Servant. Was there something else? I feel like there was something else I needed to play before this show ended. No, but real quick, can you tell me... Huh? What is the... Are these shoes... Oh, sorry. Back. Just painted gold? They're bronze shoes. They, they do them for, like, newborns, I think. Oh, okay. But they're bronze. They're not gold. Um, the shoes of peace. Uh, this moron, Blue Boy, can you say, did you, did you just say fuck you to Jamie? Did you just say fuck you to Jamie? Watch out, fuck out, out. Can I get, can I get your impression of Will saying yeah well to Lauren? Yeah well, yeah well, yeah well. Um, what else? I can't, I can't remember if there was anything else. Trailers why does he have his own? Good. Why does Lorne own his own baby shoes? I don't know, but I would like to just point out that he has never dusted in his life. Do you remember that time he said that he vacuumed the carpet and there was just shit all over the carpet? He said he vacuumed the carpet once. Since one time. like his, like, yeah, he's only ever vacuumed one time. It's but is it normal to ha have your own baby picture and your own baby shoes? on display in your home? I don't know if it is, to be honest with you. I'm not sure. Um, here's this for people that requested it. Don't. Come on, Jesus! Come on! Fight against the enemy! Cause we love you, God! Shoot! We do it for Jesus Christ! Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit, which is the sword of God. So put on... Oh man, the over. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! I love you, God! Hell, a truth! Jesus Christ! Check that! I'm righteousness! Jesus Christ! Man, you feel the spirit. Shoes of peace! Oh, stop it on the enemy! We love you, God! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Fair price coming up. Shield and fight of God! Jesus Christ! And we'll bang right here! Hey! Hey! Alright, um, is there anything else? I think that's it. Blue Blade, are you gonna be anywhere this that's week? That's it. Poughkeepsie? Nope. Flat Factory? I'm not gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not gonna be anywhere. Alright, I am not either. Um, I'm actually. That was the last bit of raw footage I had of 87 wrestling, so I'm going to have to do some extra gathering before Sunday. Um, all right, guys. Um, that's it. That's all we got. Thanks for showing us the pop-up. Right. We'll be starting on the 2nd on Sunday. I, again, I don't know what happens, but we're building to something. So, Me and Caroline this weekend with Bonnie. Rich Voff. Um... I'm stalling to find something. The report means coming you know. These ones? Oh, hell yeah. We're going to play this one. Okay. All right. Uh, have a good, safe rest of your fourth, and we'll see you Sunday. Um, bye bye. America. Okay, bye. Oh, girl, you stand by me. I'm forever yours, faithfully.